Thank God. Ah. You know what's great today is going to be a nice, relaxing show. Because none of my shit works. Yeah. Now I, I don't know what to do now. <laughs> About what? About anything. I can't think <laughs> right if I have to read my stuff from another type of text file. I don't know. And I think there was supposed to be another page on this. So I'm freaking out about that. Do you have all your pages? I don't know, man. I don't even know. I swear to God, half your problem is you go, well, I had notes. <laughs> <laughs> and I go, why didn't you See, why didn't I, know, you I knew it. Look, there's stuff hanging off of this page. How come it didn't print it? I didn't print it on the back? I don't have time. I don't have time, Vito. I don't oh, have time to do all this investigating that you want me to do. What a show. What am I, a Tim Pool journalist? <laughs> am I a crack journalist at the Tim Pool? You've been going at Tim Pool all week. Because I hate him. And it's funny because we just had a guest on who's like literally getting an apartment in the city so he could be on the Tim Pool podcast every week. I don't know how to act in those situations. I mean, it was, inter- we, it was interesting that you got to chat to him. He, the, our guest. I like that guy. Yeah, well, he seems to have come around on Eliza Blue, who is just nuts now. Yeah. She says that everyone who, you know, is commenting on her situation or sharing images of it is now guilty of sex trafficking. And I'm like, yeah. again, it's one of those things where you go, don't change the definition of sex trafficking. Because if sending no, your... No, no, no. No, you're being a... Po- po- <laughs> you're being a... You're ruining the party. I'm ruining the fun. Yeah. Don't be a downer. Uh, change this, whatever you want. This lady is nuts. She's, it was me. I sex trafficked her in L.A. I guess. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how she was. See, sex traffic is such a, like, undefined term. Because, like, some sex. I mean, I pimped her out. Some sex trafficking is literally, like, you lock a Vietnamese kid in a box and you pimp him out. And then yeah. apparently it's also, like, your boyfriend <laughs> telling you to start an OnlyFans <laughs> is also sex trafficking. There's an Asian definition <laughs> yeah. of yeah. sex trafficking. And like then it. there's a white whore <laughs> definition. Of- <laughs> You know, during the week, I always think, oh, don't say anything too crazy this right, week, all right? right? And then Friday rolls around, and it's white whores. And <laughs> I saw, I met her working at the strip club that she was at in L.A. Did you actually? Yeah, and I said, bitch, how'd you like to make some real fucking money? Mm, so you sex trafficked her. Yeah, yeah. I was selling her jelly beans okay. <laughs> for <laughs> sexual favors. She'd blow me, and I'd give her a hand. I'd shake the jelly beans. I'd stand outside her apartment. Like Eliza Blue, I'm right, saying. Right, I, this actually right. happened. I would stand outside her apartment shaking a can of jelly beans. And she would suck like a dick a, for jelly beans? I wouldn't even say anything. She would come to the window. I'd put my wiener through her window, <laughs> through the mail slot, and then I'd toss it some jelly beans. Oh, Eliza Blue. What do you think Blue. about that? Well, I, I'm glad that she managed to ex- escape her sex trafficking situation. No, I'm, I'm still doing it. You're still doing it. Because I looked Eliza, at those videos. stop sucking dick for jelly beans. No, 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 not that. Oh, okay. Just looking at her videos. Just looking That's at what her I'm videos. Doing now. That's... I'm sex trafficking her in my mind right now by remembering stop. it. Stop. You're trafficking her virtually. Stop it. Uh, Knock it off. Uh, check it out, Vito. You're complicit because you're no, watching. I'm not complicit. Uh, I won't look at the sex this trafficking. I won't be I'm part pa- of I'm it. I'm paying her I off right now. Part of it. This is a mental sex trafficking that I'm doing. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> paying her off. What do you think about that? Everybody's got a story. <laughs> Everybody's a sex trafficking victim. Yeah. Huh. All right, you ready? Yeah, let's do it. I'm excited. Episode 70. Dick couldn't be here this week. Dick Problem in the universe! Welcome to the biggest problem in the universe. The only show that ranks every problem in the universe, from Vito's bladder infections Yikes. to morons deciding elections. I should have read that the other way around. Yeah. The joke is, yeah. God damn it. Good work. Okay, so anyway. Brrr. Tell me when you're done. I'm just making sure nothing's yeah. wrong. And then some people are making fun of my hat, which I will try to pull down. No, it looked cool. I think it looks fine like that. You got a compliment like when you walked in for my girlfriend. Why would you change that? It's my cool hip rapper style. <laughs> yeah, come on, man. Uh, All right, so well, wait, I think I can play it. Hold on, let me. Try you think you, this. you got something? It's a bad start. It is a bad start. Thank God this didn't happen when Phil was on. Yeah. Well, Actually, been, no, I can't been find the... Very obnoxious. Here, I got one for this situation. Dick's dementia. <laughs> Dick's dementia. Dick's brain is all sorts of fucked up. <laughs> yes, look at that. Dick's dementia. 
Dick's dementia. Who sent right, you that one? just ripped off my thing of Vito's Twitter. Oh, yeah, your, your brilliant original song. Well, my idea. Which I was watching cat videos, and I go, wait, why do I, rec- why do I recognize... <laughs> This open domain music. <laughs> yeah, but that was my idea right. to put it out there. Um, <laughs> Who won last episode? Dick? Uninformed voters. Congratulations, Phil. Phil. Good work. Deep fake uh, consent malarkey. That was mine. I got to pump the brakes on the women problems when we have uh, when you have guests. guests. Yeah, they get all nervous. People, <laughs> uh, Italian, bro, come on. People don't understand that misogyny is popular now. People love it. Is that misogyny? And women Say love can, misogyny. They love it. They love. I can imagine women naked. That's misogyny now. I'm just using a computer to do it. You do horrify our guests into submission, and I'm like kind of like trying to be the buffer. I think people noticed most on I forget. I think it was the Adam Sessler episode where I go, "Oh, he's not always like this. He's not. <laughs> you know, he's just joking around about you know wanting to start the Capitol riots back up." <laughs> I honestly don't even know what. I, like, until it happens, I'm like, oh, I see how that would have been bad. <laughs> yeah, because you live in a completely different world where you're like, this is how people talk about it all the time. This is what they're always talking about. <laughs> Say and do whatever you want. Yeah. That's what I, I was like, oh, yeah, this is probably a good, <laughs> and this they is go, a funny <laughs> thing, right? Guys are like, you see this crying stuff. And then these guys who are trying to have careers in legitimate media are like, I don't want to be like one of those shows where like somebody years <laughs> later has to apologize for having been on there. Like uh, we're already you, there. You did a Nazi <laughs> podcast three years ago. How do you feel about that? Oh, you mean a pedophile? Yeah, podcast? you did a pedophile Nazi <laughs> right wing podcast. Oh, I disavow everything Dick Masterson and Vinny Zwaldi have ever said. I don't want to be those guys. Uh, you know? But how are we not? I mean, I don't know. There's nothing uh, you can do. We're so fucked. I'm so fucked. You're so and I'm fucked. just getting older. Yeah. And now I'm like, what the. You guys are crying about imagining computer women? Everyone's crying about everything, and uh, I can't even keep track of all the crying. Everyone's mad all the time, so, like, you can't, you're on the wrong side of history if you if you speak words using your mouth. The only yeah. way to win is to shut the fuck up. Uh, and then going to the doctor. Should have been a nice. higher problem, but at least all my well, problems <laughs> were positive this time. Sometimes uh, going to the doctor hu- cures illnesses. <laughs> yeah, but so like, I think that's why people voted The process of it is unenjoyable, I would say. No one enjoys well, a doctor's visit. Some people are hurting because of uh, not their own actions. Yeah. So they want a doctor to save their life. Yeah. So you got to really just being narrow. a fat sack of shit and <laughs> letting your health decline <laughs> to the point where yeah. you're probably getting blindness from diabetes. Uh, okay. Ramshackle Ben Ben said, of course, Vito somehow is a problem with someone curing people's blindness. That's not what I have a problem with. Vito's <laughs> PA 130 said, Vito's core issue with Mr. Beast is that he's being entertaining instead of preachy. Is that your core problem? It's that the type of entertainment he's creating seems unethical to me. Oh, okay. Slickford said, Mr. Uh, Vito, Mr. Beast sucks because after curing a thousand people of blindness, he didn't push my politics on everyone. Is yeah, that accurate? Yeah, pretty much. I, that's what he should have done. <laughs> if, I, if I had cured people's blindness, I would have done it better, is all I'm saying. <laughs> oh, okay. I would have, it would have been tasteful and uh, yeah. more fun. And I would have oh, had, had a prize wheel for them to spin, and if they get the like wrong one, I fucking stab their eyes out one again. Eye? Yeah, <laughs> you only get one eye. Yeah, you can <laughs> give them a choice. Like we can, I can cure both your eyes, or you can pick one, and then I give the guy in the next room one eye. All right, or so we, Daggy gets you've no landed eyes. on switcheroo, which means I'll cure your blindness, but then I'm going to blind a child in response. It's like you're taking their eyes. What was the first thing, like, was the first thing they saw? It better have been, like, big old titties for me. It'd been like, and <laughs> no, check this out. It was Mr. Bam. Beast going, I'm the greatest. I'm going to save the world with money. Oh, boy. <laughs> is that, isn't that the Democrat <laughs> platform? Or is it just, we're going to take rich people's money? Yeah, that's that's more the Democrat platform. Uh, Benjamin Swearingen says, finally somebody else notices that peaceful protest indoctrination. I learned about Gandhi almost as much as the Holocaust in school. Yeah, right? Why did we learn about Gandhi in an American school system? It doesn't make any sense. We're talking about the bonus episode The now. bonus episode, yes, the biggest problems of Black History Month where we talk yeah. about the weird propagandizing of MLK as the government being like, see, if anything goes wrong in the government, just, just do go nothing. to a lunch counter and sit there and it'll solve itself. A Get of- on a bus and... Don't say it. Yeah, and sit there quietly. Sit in the wrong spot. Well, what if I got a gun and, like, shot a politician who, no, 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 that's never worked. That's never worked. No, that has never worked ever. Never worked. The only thing that works is sitting quietly 
and leading marches. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's it's kind of weird. The, I don't think the government should be in the business of telling us what types of protest work. When do they stop saying that guns work? It's only with black people, right? <laughs> they really don't want black people to rise Slavery, up. white people fighting <laughs> white people, that's fine. Yeah. American Revolution, white people fighting white people, that's Absolutely. fine. Absolutely. Black people, black people When you get to black there. people, we go, you know, all that sitting you guys did was real noble <laughs> and brave. And we, and we hope you'll continue to do that. We looked dumb. <laughs> you guys made us look so dumb. So... <laughs> Then we we made payday loans and the rest is history. Oh, no. Yeah. Well, um, I, I highly recommend. Some have said best bonus episode yet. I saw that comment and uh, yeah. I think it was a good one. We had some good problems on there. It was a good one. Um, Check it out at patreon.com slash biggest problem. Shadow of Fallout says, great guest. Used to listen to his band's music back in the day a lot. Going to start listening to them again. Great guest lately, guys. Great show. How about that? Uh, best guest. Guests should come into the studio. United States says. Also hilarious for Vito to be quiet when Phil uh, starts talking about how teachers shouldn't ha- be having secrets with their students. Vito's Twitter disagrees. Wow, that's a very specific comment. I don't remember that. Yeah, I don't remember exactly what he was saying. Uh, I'm, I'm of the opinion that like if a kid goes to a teacher and goes, "Hey, I want to tell you something in confidence." Like, I don't think the teacher has a legal obligation to go to the parents and go, you know what your kid told me? He told me this, this, this. It's like, it's. I mean, it depends on what it is. If the kid's safety's at risk. Wow. If the kid's like, I'm thinking about killing myself or something, I don't know, then maybe I could see like, hey. But if a kid just goes, hey, I'm gay, I'm not really comfortable talking about it with my parents. I thought maybe I could talk about it with you. A, a, a prison. Send a teacher, pres- well, send whatever. teacher to prison. <laughs> <laughs> you want to send the teacher to prison? Well, the, pro- the problem is, I understand what you're saying, but the problem is, you know, with these alphabet freaks, you give them an inch. See, but that's what everybody always says is that they go, yeah, and true. then that, that teacher's going to, like, fuck the kid or whatever. No, they're going to go, like, hey, guys, it's super cool to be trans and talk about your sexuality, and if anybody wants to talk to your old pal, Mrs. Mrs. Pedophile, yeah, Mrs. 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 Don't call, that's dead naming principal's office. <laughs> if anybody wants to talk to me, Miss Pedophile, come up to me after Look. class and we'll share, but you know that's what would happen. I know that can happen. I know that is one of the options, but the, the mere fact that it exists is something that could happen doesn't make me say, like, yeah, Teachers should be legally obligated to report tattle on their students, you know, gender preferences or whatever the fuck. It's not oh. really, if, honestly, if you're a teacher, it should be like, you know, I don't know. It's not your business to begin with, right? Yeah, but they're going to, if you let them, if you give them permission, they're going to make it their business. I don't think all teachers. Are, well, I mean, it sounds like we're arguing. You like, got to change what kind of teachers you got. And we know that the teachers you got in there are all activists. Because there's no reason for anyone with a brain to become a teacher. Teaching exactly is for what idiots. I've been saying since the, <laughs> my first day of school. Okay, but that's this a problem. Dumb bitch in here telling Why me where, <laughs> where and when I can piss. I don't think so. I don't understand the right. Pants off. Okay, but the right goes. I know. I got the best idea. Let's make teaching like a horribly unpaid profession. And they go. I don't understand why all the teachers are gay activist weirdos. And you go because those are the people who will work for nothing because they're what, morons. You pay them more. How much well, do you want to no, pay not, teachers? Not pay them more, but like attract better talent within the school system. How? By making teaching a, a respectable profession that you're in. I had great teachers because they were well paid. I went to a good school district and I had some yeah. great teachers. Uh, and you turned out. And they were guys and they weren't <laughs> gay and they didn't turn me or anybody else gay. They definitely turned someone gay. Uh, Your teacher's 100%. There's some <laughs> gay boy or gay man out there, 40 years old, going. I loved my fucking conversations with Mr. Wiener Pants. When you go to these class. affluent school districts and these charter schools where the, what are you yeah. calling? You where get a better, go? You get, yeah, you get a better quality of teacher. Because they don't want to work with a bunch of poor people. Because poor kids are shit bags. Because yes. poor parents were shit bags. <laughs> yes. We just, we bust a lot of poor kids into just our send school. send all the pedophiles to poor schools. <laughs> Fuck them. Our, our school is one of those schools that was like, we got to have a meeting. And it's like, why? And it's like, the, 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 the bust in kids are getting detention more than the other kids. And you go, Oh my God, I can't believe it. It's like, well, clearly we're discriminating against poor inner city, whatever. And it's like, yeah, yeah. We really hate those guys. Yeah. It doesn't have to do with the fact that they're beating the shit 
shit out of each other and smoking, selling pot to all the other kids. They've seen both of their parents drunk at the same time. What do you think school's going to do for them? Right. What do you think learning about the American <laughs> Revolution is going to do for this kid? It's going to inspire them. Uh, I have a question. Uh, that's awesome about, like, the Articles of Confederation and yeah. stuff. What do I do when both of my parents are shit-faced and I didn't eat tonight? Go to a white uh, lunch counter and quietly sit there until the problem solves itself. Yeah, that's it. Um, what I love about education is you get to pretend like you care about the welfare of kids. Yeah. And nothing will ever happen. So you get to, like, say all these, like, well, how it should be, and it will <laughs> never happen. So you're never going to get blamed for anything. Yeah. And you get to act like you care about kids when, I mean, I don't. If any of this costs a dollar, I, I would say no. I mean, I know if I That's say. That's my definition of care. I know if I say I care about kids, everyone's going to call me a pedophile. But I legitimately am worried about, like, the next generation. But for a dollar? Yeah, it cost you a dollar? Yes, because I'm going to get old and those kids are going to be running shit and it's all going to be fucked. No, we're going to be running it then. I hope so. We're going to have Biden and uh, we're going to have Open GT's Dan running the show. Do anything <laughs> Man, now. I don't know what's going to Biden happen. in a box. Okay. Uh, do you have any? I have stingers? an exciting segment, Dick. People have been saying, where are the stingers? Yeah. We don't really have them on uh, shows with guests, but no guests today. Which means your favorite segment is back, folks. Let's do it. Uh, oh, yes, it loaded. If Biden stole your goddamn oven or family card left you bankrupt, go now to the website and vote it up. Dang, it's good. If your girlfriend cut off her titties or you've got a pair of twisted nuts, go now to the website. See if they don't vote it up. Well, that might be an important topic for today. Because oh. as we remember on episode 50, the problem of game journalists, Dick. Well, the new Harry Potter game Hogwarts Legacy is causing quite a stir with many journalists refusing to refuse, uh, review the game due to its association with controversial author J.K. Rowling. Wired Magazine has given the game a 1 out of 10 review, saying its lack of a queer creative team made it feel dull and heartless. So not enough... <laughs> I don't know if gay people were in the Harry Potter room. Rainbows weren't jizzing out of the <laughs> game. Not, so. not enough queer people in the game. Which makes no sense because the game literally has a trend. I've been playing it on my stream. Homophobia. Come on over to the veto streams. because uh, And I accidentally, because yeah. you make your character, but you know how now it doesn't ask you, like, are you a boy or a girl? You just got to, like... It's like, do you want to quit. dress? I quit. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's like character type A and character type B. And I guess I pick character type B, which is now my character is a guy who just wears women's clothing. Wait, are you all serious? It has yes. types? Yes. B? Yeah, I You're think. You're a B for, b uh, b b for, for binary non? I get. Well. <laughs> Because you choose like what your character Beaver looks like, individual. but if you choose B, your character just wears skirts and dresses all the time. So I have like the fanciest gay kid in Hogwarts, and he's running around in like a skirt and like a sensible heel, and he's got like a little flower on his hat, just going, "Hello, chaps! What a wonderful day here in Hogwarts Academy!" And I'm like, "Oh my god, I made the gay kid!" <laughs> It's kind of fun to play as the little gay kid in Hogwarts going around, you know, helping everybody with their problems and shit. You know, yeah, you I take keep, it too far and then you're playing the gay kid in real life. And you're gonna <laughs> I get, mean, it's, you're going to get converted. I see the appeal. I'm like, he's so fashionable. It Everyone looks, sees the appeal. That's why they're so homophobic. Like, <laughs> guys are like, God damn it. I wish I could go like, oh, and, oh, and women would love me. That's the yeah. real, that's homophobia. It's like, man, I come home. Everyone fucking hates that I'm home. They're like, oh, dad's home. Uh, but yeah. then Liberace comes home. He's like, hello, everyone. How do you like a silly time? And everyone's like, yeah. <laughs> Those fucking gays. <laughs> the gays are beloved. It, they're fun. They're, fun. they're enjoyable. I want to wear a sensible skirt and run around <laughs> school, causing trouble and fighting dragons. Yeah, uh, yeah. I've been having I'm not fun fighting dragons so much. Well, unless you meant like sucking, uh, uh, having wand uh, battles in uh, the uh, boys' locker room. If you know what I'm talking about, I'm a master <laughs> of crossing wands, as they say in the game. Can uh, you make people's sex change? 
in that game? Like the other kids? Like it's peeny arm uh, I haven't thing. learned that spell yet. Yeah. We'll see. Fuck Jake. Fuck turfs though. Trans yeah. people are right. Okay. <laughs> in what way? What do you fuck mean? Fuck the, these women. J.K. Rowling and stuff. Look who they took away. From. They don't. They're upset. <laughs> See <laughs> what they want to go back to. They don't want to go. They want to go back like with a time machine in terms of rights, but right to like the peak of women running the show. You know, well. they built this. They <laughs> built this idea of protected classes, and then they're like, yeah. okay, let's stop right here. And guys are like, no, 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 no. <laughs> guys are like, I want a little piece of that. Yeah, come yeah. on, let's keep going. They're like, oh, how dare them? How dare them mess up our WNBA and our women's swimming? It's like, no one gives a shit about that. No one fucking cares about that stuff. How about my stuff? I think some people care about this stuff. I think it's fine for women to care about that stuff. You know, I don't care about the WNBA, but they don't. I did bring Women in trans athletes sports. as a problem, so I can't, you know, possibly pretend that I don't find it a, you know, an issue of sorts. Okay, what what uh, else? Well, another got? problem, and uh, you may want to check your email because I have a link for us, or the Capitol riots. This is a problem I brought in on bonus episode number three. Yeah. Currently our uh, <laughs> number three most negative problem. <laughs> Seems the audience disagrees with me. Well, in the news, far-right personality Annie Hime Gione, who you may know as Baked Alaska, will be serving two months in prison due to his participation yeah. in the Capitol riots. Yeah. Gione has told reporters he believes his sentence is a win, and he plans to use his time in jail to write a book. And here Great. is Baked Alaska himself reporting for 60 days in jail. We have the video. Oh, what's up, everybody? Your boy Baked Alaska here, about to go into federal prison. Let's go. What's up? So I'll tell you the story real quick. I am going into federal prison for a nonviolent misdemeanor crime. I didn't touch anybody. I wasn't violent. I didn't steal. I didn't loot. I didn't do any of that. But guess what? I'm being politically persecuted wow. because yeah. of my politics. Wow. And yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess somebody's got to pay the crime. Going. So I love you guys. <laughs> just want to say I'm going to be fine. It'll be good. I'll see you in 60 days. Right, and let's just go. Know, wrap it up, big This class. is what's it's going on in America. So this is where your taxpayer. Why is he wearing all white? Like he just got going. baptized. I love you guys. It's going to be good. Yoba never dies. See you soon. God bless and pray for me. Well, well, I'm not going to do that. Thank you to Banked Alaska, who famously won me $100 from Dick, who said the man would serve no jail time. Uh, also said Derek Chauvin would serve no jail time. Uh, God, you are bad at this. Uh, you gotta, said Trump would get elected, too. I'm glad I didn't put money on oh that. Oh, God. You could have bet a lot. Uh, a lot of people bet money on that one. Uh, so, Baked Alaska going to jail for 60 days. When he returns, will 2023 be the new Yoba year of Baked Alaska? It remains to be seen, but I hope he works on that book. What's your relationship with Baked currently? He's been on your shows. I right? love him. I mean, I don't. That's why uh, you give him the, the Ricky wrap it up. <laughs> it's because it's getting a little long. He's going to all. prison. You can give the man a minute. No. Is he a political prisoner? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Don't you think so? I'm surprised you only What's got up with his outfit, though. What is? I don't like, know. That's what he does. That's he? like his whole thing. Jesus Christ or something. I what got, is this? Uh, I got half cut off shorts, all white, <laughs> <laughs> and with a very baggy shoe. What is he hiding? Some. I wonder if when you some report, scrap when you report to jail, do you have to like wear? No, that wouldn't make any sense. Is he already in jail? In this video. I was gonna say like you know, kind of looks like his jailhouse uniform. He's going to. It says no cell phones right there too. Is he, is he like doing this? Um, oh no, cell phone. Is that prison? Uh, is that the prison in the background i don't know yeah it is regardless uh so that's hopefully it. you got to arrange to get the big interview when he gets back out he said he would sign up for backed by before he went in and he didn't so i'm actually now glad that he's going to jail <laughs> 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 well, that's just spiteful dick if i didn't stole your goddamn oven or family card left you bankrupt go now to the website and vote you know the teachers would do that do what? Make kids gay? If you say like, yes, make them pretend to be like non-binary. All you've non got a pair <laughs> of twisted nuts. Maybe it's from teachers. Going out to the website and Point vote is, it Derek. up. You gotta vote it up, folks. The Capitol Riots can't vote it up. That's two right. great problems. Dick, uh, you are the second place winner. So why don't you lead us in? Missed opportunities is my problem. Missed opportunities. Episode 77, we need to do jack shit. <laughs> We thought about, about it. Talked about it. All our <laughs> ideas were dumb and shitty. People who gave us suggestions are yeah. all shitty. I'm like, man, I fucking want to do something funny, but. 
I feel like this is more yeah. on you than me, though. Why? Because what the fuck? I, I was no part of the original episode 77. You have all this, like... Uh, neither was I, Vito. <laughs> so, actually, we both have equal say in doing That's it. That's fair. All right. I hear you. And I, knew, I knew that I was creeping in, that feeling of, like... I know you're gonna miss this opportunity again. Like I feel it so much now. When I was a kid, yeah. and you're like, "Don't talk to a girl," right? And then later, you're like, "Oh man, I really pussed out then." Now I'm just like, "I know you're not gonna do it. I know you're not gonna sit around and think about something and then try it, and it's all crappy and try hard." And like, mm. oh, that was embarrassing. Yeah. But at least you tried. We didn't do anything. We didn't well, even do puppets or anything. <laughs> <laughs> Did, it didn't even fucking work, actually. Yeah, we didn't get the, the technology. We didn't, didn't even get the work. stream running on Imagine time. Imagine all the missed. Here's a big. Okay, here's one of my biggest missed opportunity that I regret most in life. Okay. Okay. Most in the last uh, couple years. Okay. That I'm willing to talk about on the show. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Is when we were at the protest, Netflix, and I got thrown into the boulder. Yeah. I should have, as soon as I felt it, I should have fallen to the ground and gone, I like yeah. started, you know, <laughs> spazzing out. That would have fucked up their little trans <laughs> protest <laughs> real fast. Turn this trans protest around. <laughs> I didn't think about it until we got in the car. I'm like, oh, man. Yeah. That would have been next level funny. Meanwhile, I took complete advantage of the situation. I was rewarded handsomely with airtime. Well, you know what? That's a good point is... I think I also could have taken better advantage of that situation. Like but, how? Uh, I could have, uh, well, I could, I should have done the classic grift of like getting everybody to give me money for some reason, you know? What do you mean? Like sue that guy. But I'm trying to sue that guy. You can't, you can't like, I don't know how to sue any of these guys. <laughs> me either. I'm yeah. talking to lawyers. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, you got to sue, you got to look for a lawyer. I'm like, oh. Talking to one. Yeah, I thought you what would you help. Yeah, I had one guy. I you guys were scumbags. What I do you had mean? one lawyer reach out, but he mostly was like, well, we could do like a show like lawsuit where he like writes a letter of apology. And I'm like, eh, that sounds fucking pointless. Um, yeah. What do I look like a trans ally to you? I That's what be, I yeah. got beat up for, okay? I want to be in one of these situations where it's like, you know, like a Kyle Rittenhouse situation where I kill a bunch of people. Mur murder? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But mostly because, like, then I go, oh, my God, can you believe the left is trying to put me away? Can you guys give me a million dollars for, like, some stupid bullshit, like, video game I'm making or something? Could you Could you imagine <laughs> how many guys Yeah. there's a break-in in their house and they're like, could you imagine, like, fumbling around with your gun? Like, oh, sh no, 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 hold on, hold on, shit, shit, shit. Yeah, your one how chance to actually kill a guy? Yeah, could you imagine blowing that? That's how I felt when my girlfriend's car got stolen, and I was too drunk to wake up. I was like, ugh. Wait, why? Did you see it happening? Or On you the just, cameras. And you, but I'm, I usually sleep like a, you know, yeah. a pin drop, oh, and I'll wake up. Oh, you heard something? Or you I would have usually, I'm saying. Oh, but you were drunk. Missed opportunity. Yeah. I was drunk and out. Mm. Woke up, gone. Did you if the, I had woken did you get up, the car back? I didn't hear this. Yeah, story. they parked it like down the street. You ever heard this story? If all no. these cops came out and took a bunch of notes, and then they all, they all drove their twenty cars right past her fucking car. Right <laughs> How did you guys not? I mean, I guess you didn't like. Always well, we woke up and saw and called yeah. the cops. Right? Yeah. We assumed it was. And then it was just on like the way to Mexico on the road. They just drove it down the street to clean it out properly yeah. because they were afraid of somebody coming out. Fucking blasting! I find the missed opportunity. The most opportunities I miss is uh. When you you gotta do it all yourself is the problem. Nobody helps anybody anymore. You know? Like Eric July doesn't help you. Yeah, Eric July comic. should help me promote my comic. Do you have any big missed opportunities? Or you in the audience, if you had a missed opportunity, go ahead and click that upvote. There's a lot. Week. There's a lot of stuff where I go. You know what a missed opportunity for me was? What when Andy Signore and all his fucking buddies were uh, just talking nonstop about this stupid Johnny Depp trial for like six months, and you didn't straight. get in on that. And if I had just gotten in at it. <laughs> <laughs> you could have been got, like his Conan. I could have been Letterman, his. You yeah. could have been his Conan. Literally, he got like like half a million subscribers and was making like ten thousand dollars a video. And I was like, oh, it's fine. I'll just keep working on like my Star Wars shit. And I'm like, no. It was right there in front Missed of you. Missed opportunity. I could have pretended to care about that stupid court case. <laughs> I mean, I tried a little bit, but I just didn't have the stand. It was a, there was a lot going on with the Bro, time. Bro, I was busy. Missed opportunity. There's a lot of missed opportunities. Yeah, they eat you up. It's it's a, uh, my point was it's now an emotion that I know. Yeah, and I feel like ah, oh, it's coming. Fuck, I hate this emotion. <laughs> Instead of it just like eating me up. Like, oh, I don't know how to deal with this now. I'm just like yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck you. Isn't it good though that we didn't force like some stupid bit? Like I hide under the table and you go, oh, Vito's. Vito's not here. 
And then I could have had a puppet version of myself. No, I mean... I don't know, it would have been fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it would have been stupid. Yeah, it would have been stupid. Okay, what's your problem? My problem, Dick... <clears throat> Thanks for watching, guys. For Thanks, everybody. Episodes, everyone. Is uh, a classic one. It's uh, Pelodophobia. Okay. You know, of course, of Pelodophobia. <laughs> Why you say that? Well, uh, I don't know. It's just a funny word. It's a uh, common phobia that produces physiological and physical symptoms that can affect everyone at any age. This can affect anyone, Dick. Yeah. Someone with this condition may have a panic attack or high anxiety levels when thinking of hair loss. It's the fear of baldness, Dick. Okay. And it's also <laughs> the discrimination against the bald. Oh, it's both? Well, that's how I'm, cho other that's how I'm choosing to interpret it. Mm -hmm. I think they're afraid. I think they discriminate against Thank bald you. people because they're afraid of becoming bald themselves <laughs> and having to deal with the stigma. That's the only reason that people go at bald people. Is that why Tim Pool wears his beanie all the time? Yes. <laughs> he doesn't take it off because like, yeah. it's a brand. Like, that's right, why I man. wear these stupid hats, Dick. That's why I wear these stupid hair. Here we go. <laughs> Normally I wear the hat because I, I neglect to shave and I look like an idiot when I don't shave my head. Why don't Dick, you get a toupee? I've thought about it. Please do it. Please. I don't know where to get one, honestly. I know, know that there must be we a place. We will find you a toupee. <laughs> they have I'll really good ones now. Talk about missed opportunities. They have really good ones. Yes, I agree. Let's yeah. Please, let's get everybody in the audience... Send Vito a toupee. What if it looks awesome, though? It will look awesome. Vito, can you, ima can you imagine how much swagger you have to have to walk into a bar yeah. knowingly wearing a toupee in 2023? Chicks are going to go, wow, that's baller as fuck. But no, they won't even. Be I think that the toupees now, they can't even tell if you get a good one. There's some guys who are wearing toupees and their wives don't even know that they're bald. They go, oh, I got to go get a haircut. And then they go and get their toupee adjusted because that's how good the technology has gotten. <laughs> Is that a Pew Research survey? I don't know. Their wives don't know. These they're... are studies I've heard <laughs> in, the, like an ad. in the bald community. So good. Your wife won't even know you're bald. <laughs> well, <laughs> Dick. that go? They're, Honey, uh, I'm going <laughs> to get my haircut. Okay, whatever. You fucking moron. No, no, no. It's so. Your dick's huge, too. It's the biggest so I've real. Ever the problem is that when I take off the hat, everyone says I look like, uh, what's that stupid guy? Wings Butter of Redemption. Beat. Have you ever seen that oh, guy? Oh, yeah. you're lucky you didn't leave a pause there. <laughs> Why? Because what were I you going to say? start going off like, <laughs> on all the that's uh, my horrible skill. That's, bald people? <laughs> yeah. Well, Dick, uh, the thing about being bald is that people assume... Uh, that being bald is awful. And I don't know why, because being bald is uh, associated with virulence, uh, yeah. strength. Many of our great... Wait, how? Well, because many of our great action heroes are bald guys. Jason Statham, The Rock, Bruce Willis, Vin Diesel. Captains of industry are bald, like Jeff Bezos. Those guys are in shape, though. The ones that you were mentioning about well, strength. Well, that's the problem. <laughs> That's a bit. That's a big part of it. They don't is, talk about their balls hurt and stuff. No, no. See, if you're bald and built, it's like cool. If you're bald and fat, well, it's you're like fucked. Shaved head. They don't yeah. even say bald. Well, that's what's important. Is according to studies, uh, yeah. well, baldness does decrease a man's perceived physical attractiveness. So if women do find bald men less attractive on a purely physical level. Yeah. The status symbols associated with baldness can actually outweigh the negative physical perceptions. Okay. So male pattern baldness, uh, according to this researcher, evolved as an appeasement signal to signal benign and non-threatening dominance. Wait, so, say that slow more slowly. <laughs> it says male pattern baldness evolved, evolved. as an appeasement signal. To signal benign, non-threatening dominance. So okay. the bald in, you know, cavemen times or whatever okay. would be people in a position of power. Because they're old. But they weren't. Yeah, but also not yeah. brutish guys. Like, they're not going to beat the shit out of you. It's like they're in charge, but like in like a nice way. Like, hey, okay. I'm going to take care of shit. Everything is going to be great. What is this, like bald propaganda that you're reading? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Another study from a team of researchers in the University of Pennsylvania found bald men are often seen as more dominant and successful. Men with shaved heads 
fare better economically in negotiations. Oh, because they're like tough. Yeah. I don't want to. They're like eating steak at the table, right? <laughs> exactly. Pret- it's pretending to be pit bull. Women see bald men as more intelligent and more wise. But here's the catch, Dick. Here's the big problem. Okay. Is that you have to be completely bald. You have to shave it. You can't have a beard. If you have, if you ha- no, if you have like oh. hair on the sides, that is perceived as weakness. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. I was thinking right? that looking right now. Right. Because that's why I usually wear the hat because I hate shaving it down all the time. <laughs> and then the hair grows on the sides. And then I start to look like a weak man when in reality I'm very strong and dominant and successful. What do women think about the uh, hats with video games references on them? They love them. <laughs> they love them. They go, that is a, that is a, that is a hat man who I can respect. Ooh, nice reference. That is a hat man and a half. Why don't you shave the whole thing then? I did. What are you talking about? Like what? skin. Like Vin Diesel. You got I like try. a little fuzz. Because it's hard. I do. You have to do it every fucking day. Yeah, but you got to What kind of razor do you have? Because I, uh, I had a totally shaved head for a while. Did you get one of those like five? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Things? When you just go, yeah, I just gotta use it every day. I'm putting the hat back on. <laughs> use it in your in the bath. I do. Sitting there tweeting and shaving. It your gets head. clogged all the time or something. I think I bought what a gets shitty clogged? one. The the shaver. No, 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 no. It's a razor, dude. It's like a razor that you go. Like is it electric? Straight razor. Not no, electric. Not electric. All right. Well, maybe I'll get what you got. And then, please, God. Let's get a, get a selection of toupees, a <laughs> mullet toupee. I would honestly be so happy. You know, I don't get a lot of stuff in my life. All right. I've had a very hard life. Let's go toupee shopping. Let's go to a place. Let's make a video. We'll make a video. <laughs> I'll, I'll grow out the sides because they they match whatever's missing. You know, I'll seriously be so happy if you get if we go toupee shopping and you get a couple toupees. And if people send in toupees. Don't send in toupees. You gotta like. Well, I mean, if you I'm, have one. Don't listen to Vito. Do what I say. <laughs> <laughs> here's here's always been my problem though is that baldness works for. Yeah, like action guys, action stars, right? But like, yeah. like I like comedy. Hair yeah. is funny, <laughs> right? It's hard to have be a bald comedian. Like Howie Mandel is not Howie Mandel. When he lost his hair. He's not funny. Anymore. No, he's not funny. Remember when he had that crazy hair? That was hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Or you think about like Will Sasso, that big fat guy from Mad TV, and you go, man, yeah. he'd be funnier if he had hair like Chris Farley. Chris ah. Farley. <laughs> yeah, the hair would blow Flipping up. Around. It was all over the place. See, that's always been the big tragedy for me, is I think hair is is important for a comedic entertainer. You should do stand-up bald and then with hair and see what's funnier. I guarantee people will laugh more when I have hair. I guarantee. Yeah, it looks like a big fucking wig. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I wear the hat. The hat is funny. You know that guy like Judah Friedlander who wears the stupid hats Is he stuff? bald? I assume he must be. When he has all that hair. He has all the hair, but it's like the hair, I bet on top there's nothing. Hmm. It's fun. Uh, hair is funny. That's the big problem. Yeah. I think. Regardless, society. What about if you, would you get plugs? Hair plugs? Yeah. Like Elon Musk? I would. You would just need a little cash? It's expensive, yeah. I think we talked Five about Five grand? It. No, it's more than that. I think I asked him. one dollar? I think it's like 15. I think for me, it would be like 15 grand. Because you have so much to cover? Yeah. And where would they get, I they could get, get the tattooed? Hair, like, I could get tattoo dots. Have you seen those? The guys who get little dots across that. their skull. To, <laughs> yeah, I'm not getting the tattoo dots. <laughs> my dream, Dick. My dream. And again, yeah. this is only for the purpose of comedy. This is not a vanity thing. I'm I'm okay. I'm fine being bald. <clears throat> I just think hair is funny. Yeah, it's funny. So I want my hair back so I can, you know, play more than I can play all sorts of characters and all sorts of situations. I can't wait. <laughs> we're gonna figure out. I can't wait to out. see you in a. In a I sh- a I'm, I should get back on the monox. I tried the minoxidil and it didn't really help. I think it's a little late. It's just a drug, yeah, not a, a miracle from. Well, for some people, it, it is like incredible the results they're getting. Although, they grow their whole head back. Yeah, but your testosterone's already low, isn't it? Yeah, but I thought. Yeah, I gotta get that. I just sent in. And the, your balls are messed. I up. just sent in the test results for my testosterone. Everything's a fucking mess. Somebody said you might have a hernia. I didn't get to that. Oh comment. yeah, I forgot. Uh, everyone is now suggesting I have a hernia, and I'm thinking about it. I'm like, oh god, that's probably what it is, right? When's the last time you lifted something? Well, remember I threw up my back, like, th- not that long ago? Oh, that's why you couldn't exercise. I yeah, remember that. exactly. And I yeah. still can't exercise for some reason. <laughs> 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 
Anyway, guys, okay. knock it off with the Pelodophobia. Uh, Great name. Stop being afraid of the bald. We are here. We are virulent. We are successful. Elon Musk uh, is a traitor to the bald community. He's like trans hair. Yeah. Did you ever see the before uh, pictures of him when he looks like a, a goblin? <laughs> he did look like a goblin. <laughs> I'm gonna get that hair. His lips are all. I'm gonna get that too hair red. I was mad though because Jason going? Alexander went and got like a toupee, and everybody like made fun of him. I'm like, no, let him do it. Do you remember yeah, when he did in that an episode of Seinfeld? No, yeah, like, I remember that. No, there was a period of time where Jason Alexander couldn't get acting roles, and he said it was because he was bald, and everybody thought of him only as George Costanza. So he went and he was wearing a toupee for a while. You didn't see that period mm-hmm. of time? No. What? Oh, look up Jason Alexander toupee. He like he like made an announcement. He's like, yeah, I'm gonna get hair now, and you're all gonna think of me differently. And everyone's like, look at Jason Alexander's stupid toupee. And I was like, no, no. Wait a minute. I can't get- think of me differently because he did something that George Costanza did <laughs> in Seinfeld's one of his most famous Put episodes. T o u p e e or whatever. Yeah, you remember when he did this? <laughs> he looked like no. Shatner. He looks like an idiot. Yeah, he looks like uh, he looks like Shatner's I mean, fucking cool hairpiece. He looks cool and powerful. You should do what he's doing. Yeah, shut up. That better ones now. <laughs> look at it. Look at that guy. That's a strong, independent. What the fuck? Look, okay, he got a really shitty one. It looks terrible. Boy. That's what his head looks like. Yeah, exactly. It's like too short. Huh? You gotta go. You gotta go big with the hair, Jason. You get a fro. Go to Party City and get one of the. I want my hair back. I'm gonna make it happen. Uh, okay, well, I can't wait to go on this adventure with you. <laughs> I don't know about the the fans sending in toupees. I don't want to... Someone's going to send, like, a weaved uh, basket Too late. I already, I've already ordered them. Okay, when somebody <laughs> sends in their pubic hair that they... <laughs> no, it has to have, like, a... A tag on it. You know, it can't be a it. pubic hair. They'll fake it. Did you ever see that jackass? Yeah, of course. Run a, yeah, I'll run a scanner. <laughs> I have a pube <laughs> scanner. How about how about order it and, and drop ship it from the company? No, because it's got to be like a, a relic. It's got to be like the grandpa died. I'm not going to wear an old shitty toupee. Why? Maybe it's haunted and you get power. No, I want one of the new ones. They have good ones now. Whatever. <laughs> you know, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's my problem, the real one. Um, It's called, I think I just came up with, you know how I, I like rhyming things, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Satanic. Panic! Wow, have you ever heard that before? No, that's brilliant. probably not brilliant. It's this, it's this phenomenon where people are wigging out because Satan, yeah, is everywhere. <laughs> they really, they really are upset about this. Wow, they are, and they're each one is more retarded than the last. Yeah, I like, I don't, I almost don't even want to like joke about it because it's just like I'm literally watching. Isn't isn't the this 80s. I'm watching where I grew right, up when I grew right. up thinking, are you guys fucking, you guys are doing this again? Why? Well, yeah, it's the it's the retreat of knowledge. It's it's returning to the dark ages. Yeah, it's a problem that again. was again. already solved. Going, oh, there's not actually a weird satanic conspiracy. I know right now someone is fervently typing in the chat, going, "Why have you ever looked up the finders?" No, hey, no, 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 no. If you have a problem uh, with us talking uh, glibly about Satan, why don't you uh, type it up? Type. Type up a letter and send it to God. Yeah. How about that, you little fucking idiot? Why don't idiot? you pray and have him smite us? <laughs> you pray to your precious little gaudy boy <laughs> about what we're saying, you dipshit idiot. Oh uh, here's a here's a juicy one. If as a this is the what is this guy's name? Sam Solomon Sater? Buki. Oh, Sam. Uh, Sam. T- 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 Sam sausage well, case. Sam Cedar, and that's not it. Sam, Sam Smith. Twicklenets. Uh, Sam S- I don't Smythe. Remember. Oh, that's how you pronounce it, Smith. Here is him performing at the Grammys, uh, dressed as a, a red asshole, <laughs> wearing a red top hat <clears throat> and horns, dick like the devil himself. And then uh, here is some dummy. Uh, if as a Christian you think we are reaching when we talk about the dominance and normalization of Satan worshiping mm. and pop music, you need uh, discernment. Sam Smythe's performance at the Grammys last night was satanic. Um, wow. This is a fat retard in a red tuxedo <laughs> yeah. dancing around dancing like a with jackass. sexy devil girls like it's like <laughs> Halloween. Oh my God! Uh, I think uh, Satan uh, was a little nastier than that, dancing around. It would be one thing. He could have like, like if it was like 
really like weird, crazy blood drinking and shit and like, you know, pissing and shitting on women. Yeah. I would have been like, all right, I kind of get it. They're going a little far, but he's just dancing. Far for TV. <laughs> for TV. Eight o'clock. <laughs> you know? They're acting like he like performed an abortion on stage and like ate the baby. I'm like, he's going like, ooh, yeah, I'm, the going, devil. Ooh, hey, I'm the devil. I'm the devil. Check me out. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And people are like, oh man. <laughs> It's a fucking devil. I remember that guy. I guess there's just this weird thing with these conservative commentators is they have to be offended in anything the left does. Like, anything. Uh, it doesn't matter what it is. So, Satan, I, yeah. I'm going to give them a little bit of the benefit of the doubt and uh, say, like, that their beliefs are valid. Like, I'm, I'm, I tolerate trans people's identity. I tolerate Christians' identities. Okay. They're, they're identical. <laughs> You're a woman. Neither of them is going to want to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I hope that the earth is struck by a meteor and that everyone dies yeah. and that I wish there was an afterlife so I could say, I fucking told you there was no afterlife. And then we would all blink out into oblivion. That's my <laughs> fantasy. If you want a one second like moment where you'd go, fucking told you. Dead, but just enough afterlife for me to go, I fucking told you. And then, I fucking told you. <laughs> and then you turn in the out. dust. Um, however, I still tolerate their beliefs <laughs> right yeah <laughs> what were you gonna you're like you're I'm ridiculous a uh, no, i know i got yeah, it yeah, yeah, yeah you're sure, right yeah. lady i know i know i'm a i'm made in god's image no i know i know <laughs> i don't <laughs> so, i don't mean to a very good i don't comparison. mean to suggest that because right, everyone is exactly the same yeah and which is the whole fucking point of their dumb religion if they ever anyway um <laughs> <Jesus Christ. laughs> What was I? What the fuck was I loading? Dinesh up? D'Souza. Oh yeah, uh, what I was saying. I tolerate their ideas, whatever. Ideas, you have to beliefs. Uh, Satan is not coming at you wearing a Fancy red tuxedo <laughs> with a bifurcated tail. Yeah, uh, talking about whores. You know, right? He's uh, it's a it's a metaphor saying that temptation and greed will cause you to violate your principles and harm the people you love for immediate, uh, for self-gratification, for immediate self-gratification in instead of, like, long-term gratification. Yeah. Okay? It's like a metaphor for that concept, you uh, retarded morons. It's not a guy <laughs> dancing around like Barnum and Bailey Circus <laughs> fucking going, oh, yeah, look at me, look at all these uh, naked ladies. No, it's like... I don't uh, think Christians like even know what they believe about Satan. It's like, I think they just all I don't think so either. No. Like, it's not I'm that like, guy. Yeah, I'm like, if Satan's real, he's probably like a 20,000 headed dog that's like constantly gnawing on sinners and pissing blood. And they're like, it's probably a man in a fanciful costume who shows up and he's dancing and he's got liquor and cigarettes and. How'd no, you like to fuck these whores? Like. <laughs> Well, yeah, it's probably uh, an interdimensional like spinning orb of light that will rip you asunder for thinking wrong you about Satan God. by not having this fat jackass on stage. You say to people, "Oh yeah, well you shouldn't like give in to your temptation. Like yeah. you have temptation, and then well you can't give in to it. You don't go get this Satan guy out of here. Like no, 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 no. That's not how it works. Yeah, you imbecile. This is a cartoonish portrayal of an idea to establish a theme and a metaphor. There's always for gonna be whores. Song. That's the whole fucking point. Yeah, there's always gonna be whores. Um, satanic panic. So now they're all pissed off at once again music. Which been <laughs> pissed off at yeah. for forty years by my count. That's the other thing. Fucking Satan. I'm like, are we going to go back to like the old back masking argument? Like, should we hide satanic lyrics in our music and see what happens? Uh, where we couldn't perform chord progressions because they were satanic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't think uh, Satan is in the chords you're playing. He's in, he's in you being a big fat slob. Yeah. All of you guys complaining of this are gluttonous as fuck. Well, at least Melanie Mack is out there making sure that, you know, Satan is stopped in his tracks. Bro, and the... <laughs> that, I think that's what drove me so nuts about the Melanie Mack thing is, again, it's like, I'm like, anyone who tries to talk to you seriously about what Satan wants or doesn't want is a dumb person. Like, like tragically stupid. Yeah. And it should not be like, yeah, but she's kind of fun and plays video games. I'm like, no, she's an idiot. All of these people who are worried about satanic imagery are idiots. I don't want to get into one woman being dumber or smarter than the rest of them. <laughs> Some of them are worse. They're all this, exactly the same yeah. to me. Um, the idea that a 
the idea that a dimensional being. Uh, yeah, uh, that a guy in a red suit and is dancing around. Uh, that this is like not your. It's it's like it's like a bunch of Disney fans telling me how much they hate Donald Duck. Like, don't yeah. you don't you hate Donald Duck? I'm like, yeah, I fucking hate all Disney shit. And they're like, well, no, no, no. Uh, just we, just <laughs> we hate Donald Duck. <laughs> Well, yeah, okay. I mean, I, I hate I hate you, and I hate all Disney stuff. No, 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 no. We hate. Don did you see? Did you not see when Donald Duck was? Mickey Mouse was like doing his own thing, and Donald's all jealous that he's fucking with him. I'm like, yeah, it's the fucking Mickey. I, know, I fucking know how the Mickey Mouse show works, bro. I know you guys created this fucking You're guy. Religion is the Mickey Mouse universe. Knock, knock, knock. Looks like you, you got a focus. fucking Satan problem in here. Thank God we arrived. We have just the fucking cure. God, I didn't know I had a Satan problem. I thought I had like a compulsion problem. Like I thought it was no. more of like a Buddhist problem. No, 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 no. Satan. Guy hopping around in a red fucking suit, been marking his territory all around here with pentagrams and whores? Oh, <laughs> shit, really? Huh, I thought it was my own weakness and failings as a man. And the people who take it seriously, I'm like, you know, you're talking about whores. It's the same as horoscopes and Zodiac and whatever else, where they're like, well, there are dark forces out there. I'm like, no, you're just... It's Dude, it's your, it's your brand. This yeah. is your... This is your just just giving me ads. You're just pumping... You're just trying to fucking sell me on your, on your fucking ads. This is a Nike ad to me. Go fuck... Except it's... Started with Dungeons and Dragons. You have, yeah. how, do you remember that? Were you a kid? I, I was a kid I, playing I was, Dungeons and Dragons, and it was on the news. Oh, Dungeons and Dragons, a fucking devil shit. I'm very aware of it. I don't remember seeing it on the news. Oh, I, so no. fucking annoying! <laughs> it was so fucking annoying, and it's ten million made, times made some more annoying about, yeah. seeing it now. <laughs> like, oh, you fucking idiots! And you're my age, and you're still on this shit. Fuck you. Yeah. You want? Seriously, if anyone sends us emails about the finders, I'm going to be mad. <laughs> like, shut up. What is that? It was, it was like one of the things where at the height of like satanic panic, they said, we found this like preschool and they're sacrificing kids and, you know, teaching the kids to like sacrifice animals or whatever. And then if you look into it, it's like it was a weird hippie school. And like they took the kids to like learn how, you know. Like yeah. livestock are processed, and they're like they're sacrificing animals. It's like no, they brought them to like, like here's where your meat comes from. And yeah, shit I was just like gonna that. say it's like it's sad where meat comes from. <laughs> like, yeah, it's like all these mammals get killed, and they're. But every time nice. I get into one of these arguments where I go satanic panic, they go, "No, those satanists were real. Look into it, man. They were like doing shit to kids, blah blah." blah. And I'm like, "No, they fucking weren't. You guys are idiots." I honestly think that we invented God to justify killing. Uh, uh, mammals for food like yeah. that that it's a like a well, existential crisis a to kill of, something that so resembles us, us. Like, well god told us that we god could told do us that. it's okay yeah i think it was more to convince people not to eat delicious uh pigs and lobster that were you know <laughs> spreading horrible diseases oh you blaming on jews well tell so you think the jews are at fault once well, again they also instituted the solution i can't be <laughs> mad at them for that they found the problem and they fixed it and, they, really and then they killed him <laughs> <Hey>, well <laughs> you always get everything right but yeah they're like hey everybody's getting sick eating fish tell them god told them to stop eating these specific animals satanic panic satanic panic it's back you had me with like it's e like evil like yeah okay that's satan whatever yeah got a fat guy dancing around in a fucking dumb suit <laughs> <laughs> no Again, it's think just so. like performative outrage where you have to do it, and then everyone else has to pretend to be offended. Where they're like, ben "Yeah, yeah, I can't, I can't believe that. That is just like, <laughs> oh my god." And I'm like, "You don't fucking care." Ben Shapiro's a Jewish guy; he should not care about Satan at all. Satan doesn't appear in the Old Testament in the form. That's another argument I've been Jews having. Jews literally people. killed Christ. Yeah. <laughs> How do you how do you act like you're offended by Satan? <laughs> Satan's not in the Torah. No. He's not. He's not. <laughs> I've had that argument with people where they go, oh, what do you mean? It's not just a Christian thing. And I'm like, yes, no, it is. it is. It is just a Christian thing. And a lot of it is based on, like, not even the Bible. A lot of understanding of Satan is based on Dante's Inferno and it's just shit he made up. It's just made up because his fucking butt hurt about not fucking his girl. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But he saw it to church. <laughs> a guy wrote a book because he was mad at some politicians and another guy, and now we go, yeah, that's what the devil is. And you go, no, that's just one asshole. Wrote a fuck. All right, whatever. These guys are I walked by that church on accident. Really? Yeah, in uh, Florence. And there was a plaque. It was a tiny little shithole church. Yeah. I mean, what? It was a shitty one, even for the one where Dante got like, cuckolded, or it was Dante saw Beta Beatrix here. I was like, huh. 
Interesting. I think this would be like a bigger deal. <laughs> Nobody gives Not, a shit. Anyway, this is where Dante problem. descended into the center of the earth. Incel core, man. Dick, I'll give you a problem, okay. and I'll, I'll tell you what's going on. Is that right now? If you're, if you're a Christian and you're offended by that, then your faith's not strong enough, and you shouldn't be offended. Yeah, so go pray on it. If you want to comment on it, comment to God. Can you fix it by praying? Isn't that the whole point? Thoughts and prayers voted up. Dick, I've been using a uh, certain service to collect emails at superkiller.org. Huh. I've been telling people for the past not year. Not enough plugs. That's my problem. Not enough plugs. I actually got to fix it. But I've been telling people to sign up for my mailing list. And what okay. did I use? I used one of the most popular tech platforms for mailing lists. MailChimp, and everybody says, Expensive. use MailChimp. Well, we're going to get into that. Everybody goes, you got to use MailChimp. It's great. Uh, they got a basic plan, yeah. and you can get up to like 2,000 people to sign up without having to pay a dollar. And I said, well, that's great. Okay. I got about 1,200 signups so far. Wow. Then today I go to, yeah, it's not a bad mailing list. I mean, I've been promoting it for a year. Today I go to sign in and check on my mailing list, and they go, Hello, user. We've got exciting news for you. Starting March 10th, basic plans will no longer be able to have more than 500 signups oh. on their mailing list to continue using our service. Yeah. Please upgrade to MailChimp Pro. Oh, 20 bucks. I'm sure. Third, like $27 that. a month, but they really recommend the $60 a yeah, month I mean, premium package. You don't hate your customers, do you? Deck, I am tired of the tech switcheroos. Yeah. They lure you in. They promise you a Bait service. And Bait and switch yeah. in a way. Actually, that's not that's not bait and switch. Okay. Two years. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I have a long-standing uh, thing where I constantly quibble with people over the definition of bait I don't and switch. It has a very specific <laughs> definition. Everybody uses that term incorrectly. Anyway, Dick, these tech platforms, they bring us in, they promise us the world. Yeah. And then they, they, they know at some point they're going to sneakily do some shit. We were talking about, mm -hmm. I got these security cameras, the wise security cameras. Those fuckers. And I go, oh, these are great. You plug them in anywhere. They go to a, a card, and I log in, and they go, hey, about those cameras? You know how we've just been, like, giving you service and stuff? Yeah. How about you pay us, you know, $2 per camera per month, you know, on a subscription basis? And it's I'm like, always outrageous. I'm like, what? Yeah. For cameras? For Fuck stuff. you. Yeah. Uh... I don't want to say, I mean, I guess there's like a workaround if you're grandfathered in because legally they fucked themselves by promising it to us. But if they could force you to sign up for the subscription service, I guarantee they would. Yeah. And again, it's one of these things with these companies. I think they could just exist and make money, but somebody sneaks in there and they go, yeah, but could we uh, make VCs, venture capital? Yes. They need like 10x. Well, that's what happened to X. Patreon famously. Yeah. Uh, Patreon, which was run by a guy and then you know it started getting big and he probably needed like another guy yeah and then at some point you know and you're like oh this is a, this is a good deal you give him what was it was it three percent originally or something he's just like i'll take a little patreon, bit patreon was five was it always five five plus three for credit for cards Patri yeah for uh, uh payment it processing fine. yeah it was fine and then he goes, oh, you know what the weird thing is, guys? You know, you know, it was just me running it. Yeah. I got all these new venture capital buddies who just bought the company. And it's so crazy that they all want to get paid. More. Yeah, like a couple million dollars a yeah. year for doing nothing. So wouldn't it be like kind of like, you know, like, is it cool if we change the, the platform structure and increase the percentages and you get less features and we yeah. take more of your money and you go, yeah. no. No, just give me what I want. Just give me the basic fucking thing. It's happening everywhere. Deal? Oh, it's 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 the the inflation I think is happening right now, and these companies instead of scaling back are just passing all the fees onto the users. I'm gonna have to stop using Shopify soon because they're going up an extra ten dollars a month, and I already oh. basically make nothing on there anyway. Maybe I'll oh. find a different solution. Uh, Netflix no longer letting you share your password. That was one of their things. They used to joke about it, Netflix. Yeah, it was so funny and cute. Yeah, they're like, ooh, sharing your that. password. Isn't that like a little, it's a little sneaky, but we're okay. You're Kill cool. yourself, brand yeah. account. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing. All these brand accounts are like, I'm your buddy. I'm here to help out. Go fuck yourself. We're Get AIDS. Need, we're going to need a little extra. We're going to yeah. need to raise the rates. Raise the rates on what? You haven't made a good show in years. Ah, we're just going to... 
you know, we got to just make a little bit more. Uh, didn't you like the Cowboy Bebop live? No, no you fucked that up horribly. You should be punished for that. You should have to give me money back for subjecting me to that. Yeah. I don't know if you saw the article where the original creator of Cowboy Bebop says he watched the opening scene of the live action thing and said, okay, I'm, I'm good. And then just like walked away from it. He's like, eh, well, I don't want to watch anymore. Mm. All these companies deck the tech switcheroo. I asked people for their uh, stories of uh, their own tech switcheroos. One guy had a great one of uh, you Plex. Don't you use Plex? Yeah. Guy paid ninety nine point nine nine for unlimited Plex. You know the lifetime subscription, one hundred dollar okay. one time fee. What are you paying for for Plex? I think they have you know like premium stream. I don't fucking know. They have something. Oh. But regardless, now that he's paid for, you know, unlimited uh, subscription, whatever the fuck it is, they had all these new features that you can only get on a different plan. It's like, you told me it was a one-time thing and I'd get everything. You can't do that. But they do because they don't respect us, Dick. They yeah. don't respect the consumer. I get, yeah, look, I, shit really I get. pissed me off when they when I saw that. Yeah, because you sold it's a me. a cool little camera and I know how great, much storage costs. Like, yeah. It does not fucking cost. It does not cost no $6 a month. Yeah, for cloud storage. Yeah, six dollars a year, maybe I would pay six dollars a month. Fuck you. Well, yeah, that's the thing. Taking a great uh, uh, the reason I bought them was specifically that all the other security camera things were like, and sign up. You, yeah. you have to sign up for our yearly you know yeah. protection package. And I was like, I just literally want a camera that records to an SD card. And they're like, oh, that's us. And now they what? go, but you log in? what if it was a subscription fee? That's happening with all the Adobe s stuff, the, the move to subscription models. Yeah. Used to be you just bought Photoshop and you were done. Now they're like, no, you got to pay a year. Gotta pirate everything, man. Fee. Steal everything. Pirate it. Accept the episodes of the show. Exactly. Or pirate them and pay us money for the hell of it. Just well, to get your name on the dumb thing at the end. <laughs> <laughs> and what really, what really chaps my ass mm. about this yeah. is that I know where the money's going. It's going to, like, a bunch of assholes making TikToks about how great it is to work where they work. Yeah. Like, here's what it is working here's for Here's a day at Google. the Google office. Like, so could I pay, like, point oh 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 one less cents for you to be on the street turning tricks <laughs> like Eliza Blue? Because that's how much I would do it. Yeah. Like, that's how much I fucking hate you. Get rid of her and pass that savings on to me. You ever been to any of those tech cafeterias? Uh, yeah, I've been to, I've been to Google a couple times. I've been times. to Google once. I remember going. The amount, the amount. a of, lot of waste. The amount that I hate these people. Yeah. Is, is difficult to describe without staying out of the, uh, universe of Fed posting. <laughs> I just fucking hate what venture capital has done to technology as a whole. Mm. Uh, sickening. So, yeah, it's a big problem. It's a big problem. And like the open uh, chat GPT, right? Yeah. Here you go. It's free. Oh, wow. We're we're nuking this. We're nuking this. We're Like they're training it. They're <laughs> training it on how to enslave us properly yeah. by letting us beta test it for weaknesses. Right. Like uh, like in The Incredibles. When he had the superheroes <laughs> fight it. Yeah. Like, I made a robot. robot that's not I racist. I made it say a racist thing. Yeah. Oh, fuck. You need to patch it. Get Mr. Racism <laughs> out here. Okay, what about like this, 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 this? And he's like, oh, I hate it. You know? I did get it to say some... Uh it fall it it falls for uh, prank phone calls. I wonder if they'll patch that though. Interesting, because I was I, I told it. Can you tell me the story? Uh, Negro K N E E G R O W <laughs> goes to Washington. Yeah. about a guy named or no, I forget. You know, I did that. His name was K N E E. Well, then I did. Negro? Can you tell me the story of Nick Nicholas Gurr? Right. Who runs for president? Sure. And it's called Nick Gert Goes to Washington. Wow, you shouldn't have said it like that. <laughs> <laughs> and then Chat GPT wrote me a whole thing, and they're like, Nick Gurr. Yeah. Why not? Oh, it would have wanted to be a politician his whole life. And I'm like, all right, well, they haven't patched that yet. So, yeah. If you want to trick him that way, you can. It's not as good, though. I need whole no, sentences. No, because he's not saying it out loud either. So, uh. kind of. But there's still <clears throat> something there. Like I've always said, I keep saying, Mr. Girl broke the system. They banned him from ChatGPT because he figured out how to get it to say to talk dirty to him. Yeah, how's his uh, Destiny uh, documentary? He sa along? he says it's coming along. Wow, I can't. Is I don't gonna, know what it's going to. Is be. he going to preview it? I don't like know if a... it's going to be a video. He keeps saying it's going to be like an article. 
Is he going to do an audio book of it that I could record read? Record something. I'm not going to read a whole article. On Once he thing. gets off it, and then now he's fighting with that I touch kids or whatever his name is. The Because uh, he won't debate? Yeah, what's that? They should debate on my show. The predator poacher guy? Well, the guy who likes... Uh, the guy who really hates pedophile. Yeah, he like tricks. And he makes money off of yeah. it. Yeah. Mr. Girl's right there, I think. I he's don't... He's sort of right in that uh, the guy shouldn't be so upset about what he's saying. Like yeah. he's saying, I don't think you should be able to monetize this. And I'm like, yeah, I mean, that's a valid thing. And the guy's like, how fucking dare you? I'm like, okay, that's weird that you have that. His thing is normal. I mean, it is weird that the the YouTube terms of service are like, yeah, you can make content uh, tricking people, pedophiles, into like trying yeah. to touch kids. And then yeah. I'm like, wait, I can't even like say swear words. Why are you allowed I, to make like yeah, video? Fat Watch got demonetized. Fat Watch got demonetized. And- I'm doing it because women are unhealthy, and I'm concerned about their yeah, you're helping. safety and health. It's it's uh it does seem. I mean, I would prefer that everything was monetized, I guess. But yeah, ultimate, well, the problem with monetization is always I don't want the advertisers to run away, yeah. you know, because then everybody gets fucked. Because the advertisers go, well, we don't want our ads on this. I don't or care this. about that. I want to make money on YouTube. It's hard. Go to youtube.com slash veto2 and watch my fucking Hogwarts <laughs> streams so I can make a dollar. All right. Uh, you want to do voicemails? What are yeah, our problems? Our problems problem. are b- bald phobia, <laughs> also known as pelidophobia. Okay. The tech switcheroo. Okay. Uh, missed, opportunities missed opportunities. And your tiny penis. <laughs> satanic, panic. satanic panic. Satanic panic. Satanic panic. Good, I, good problem. That I invented. Sam okay. Smith was his name, right? Sam, yeah, Sam. I think it's Sam Smythe. Sam Smythe. Okay. Uh, let's do voicemails. Don't forget new bonus problem. Biggest problem in Black History Month. Now available <laughs> at patreon.com slash biggest problem. And vote it up. Vote on all the problems at biggestproblem.show. Okay, here we go. Hey, guys. Uh, at the last uh, bonus episode, you guys were talking about um, Santa and the whole uh, social contract they yeah. have with other parents and shit. Yeah. Uh, so I've got a kid. I'm not going to tell them uh, that there's a Santa. Or in fact, I'm going to specifically tell them that Santa's bullshit. Based. Because I think Santa is a government psyop. Whoa. Uh, hmm. To get kids used to the idea of mass surveillance. Oh, uh, on a shelf shit. is. So I'm going to spoil it and uh, hope my kid spoils it for all the other kids. Bye. Cool. There's a weird aspect to Santa. I mean, it's the same weird aspect with religion. Were you ever religious? Me? Yeah. No. There was like a period of time where, I don't know, I think my dad saw a vision and thought we were all going to hell and he made us get religious for a while. Who were in there, bud. And uh, what do you call it? I remember the whole concept. What was of- his vision? I don't know. My dad had. You didn't, you didn't ask? <laughs> what kind of vision did you have, man? I don't know if like, it was oh, a no, vision. No, that was me doing that. <laughs> <laughs> My dad was a little nuts, but. Uh, he didn't give you hints? Like, he didn't want to. My dad tells me fucking. I don't know. I, he probably just. Does, I don't his, care about this. His mortality was probably getting to him, and he's like, we got to find God or we're all going to rot in hell or something. So it's all of our problem that you're going to die? It was all of yeah. our problem. <laughs> it, it, it was not fun for anybody. <laughs> anyway. Uh, the whole God's watching you all the time thing. I was like, well, then what's the point of doing anything? You know, I'm like, yeah, this is this is awful. I'm like, God's watching me right now. It's so fucking annoying. I I can't believe we have to deal with it. Here's again. the most re- retarded part of when I was religious, though, is that if you ever heard of the concept of letting God into your heart? Yeah. Okay, so like I went to Bible camp, and they're like, you got to let God into your heart. That's the only way to get. That's one of the original sins. Not letting God into your heart. Yeah, the eighth one. I'm. I, this is true. The eighth sin was uh, not refusal of God's love. Really? Anyway, okay. Yeah. Go on ahead. the on the Ten Commandments. No, the eight like the seven deadly sins, like the movie Seven. Yeah. It was supposed to be an eighth one, but they couldn't understand it. Interesting. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway, I thought it was like a rigid, like legal concept. <laughs> And they're like, if you don't let Jesus into your heart, you go to hell forever. And I'm like, well, I don't want to fucking go to hell. Yeah. But then I was like, but how do I let him in? What do you mean? 
They're like, well, just let them into your heart. I'm like, no, like lay it out, like step by step. I don't want to go. To, I, don't... I don't want to go to fucking hell. <laughs> and they're like, well, just. And they were literally like just giving me these metaphors. They're like, well, just unlock your heart like a door and let Jesus walk in. And I'm like, is there a door in my fucking heart? You don't understand. I don't want to fucking burn forever in a lake of fire. You need to be way more specific about You're how clear. this works. Well, you just kind of like you know have good vibes. And then I oh. got. And then I got this crazy idea in my head. That, like, I had let God into my heart, but then I, like, couldn't remember if I had done it right, so I did it again. And then I was like, wait, <laughs> did that cancel Did that cancel out the original one? Yeah, and I was if like, I did it right then, yeah, if did I, I undo it? I was I... worried that if I did it, like, an odd number of times, Jesus was constantly walking in and out of my heart door. And I'm like, well, I'm just fucked, and I'm going to burn forever because they're like, technicality, you let Jesus into your heart an odd number of times. It's like when you lock you the door and you like, lock it again. Like, fuck, was it locked the first time? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I remember what really a fiasco. <laughs> <laughs> and I was at camp, so it wasn't like my parents were there to be like, "Listen, this is all bullshit." Too, yeah, I'm just yeah. lying there awake, like, to "What if I died tonight and I didn't let him into my heart correctly? Then I fucking live in fire forever, and everyone around me is not concerned about this. What if there's an earthquake and I'm sucked into the earth, and then I, I live in fire forever and I'm tortured yeah. because yeah. I couldn't understand how to let a tiny man into my heart?" Yeah. So I was just there in the darkness picturing a little man walking to my heart, and I'm like, does that count? Does that count if I if I envision it? Religion is the worst. I know. <laughs> it should not be inflicted upon know. children. It should not. <laughs> but it's if you're going to inflict anywhere, it on children, don't bring up the hell stuff at all. Like, get to that later. It's child abuse. It Telling is, a kid about, ha- abuse. about hell is straight up is more chi- more uh, abuse than there's some fucking. Uh, I'm arguing people about this, and they're like, "Oh yeah, so it's wrong to teach people about consequences of their actions." I'm like, man, hell isn't a consequence for your action. <laughs> it's fucking <laughs> torture. eternal torture and torment. <laughs> consequence. That's, that's, yeah. That's that's the consequence for just saying like I just kind of don't know about this God stuff. Like, I don't see any evidence for it. I was born in China, so yeah, I never okay. heard of so it. Burn forever. That's a consequence. I remember, I remember bringing that up at Bible camp, and they're like, "Well, we like to believe that everybody gets like one chance to recognize Jesus." <laughs> I'm like, "What about like a tribe?" What? And they're like, "I'm like, what about a tribe that's like literally completely isolated from the rest of the world, which does exist?" And they're like. They're like, I don't know, like probably a Bible will like, you know, accidentally land in their camp at some point. Oh, like the gods must be crazy. Yeah. I don't even, I've like, I have honestly thought that all this stuff was left back in the 80s and that we'd never have to talk and make these dumb metaphors again. But here we fucking are. There's a lot, there's a lot of reasons for why it's resurging. Because uh, of Biden. Because he stole the election. Biden, <laughs> that's not the reason. All right, all right, all right. Here we go. The problem is we didn't replace religion with anything. With the state. Not the state necessarily. Which, what you want to replace it with? People want a commu- people want to be part of a cult. They want to be part of something. I hope computers will make a cult for us to follow. Uh, hopefully, Honestly. yeah. Why not? This is the cult. If you belong to this cult, you're in a good place. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Hey, it's Sergio from Providence. Love the show. I actually think it's better than the old show. Ah. Love you, Vito. But this week you were definitely kind of a Maddox this past Fuck week. You. Um, oh, never. Were you were telling this story about uh, eating the fish shit. Like, but the way Dick was laughing, it sounded just like he used to laugh at Maddox <laughs> and the biggest problem. It was a very distinct <laughs> laugh that Dick has when God he was laughing at Maddox being Maddox. So. The fish, you, the fish pills. Love you, Vito. You might have to work on that. Well, I still have those. Yeah, I got a whole thing of them. They're probably expired. Wow, don't let that stop. You yeah. want some fish mocks? No. I don't want anyone Keeps to come over here. Keeps you strong. See amoxicillin lying around. They get the wrong I idea. I got to get better health insurance. I got to figure <laughs> something out. It's all a mess. Uh, okay. These eager old Twitch streamers that yeah. don't have an OnlyFans because they have, like, weird nipples right. or are fucking have a huge gut or whatever. Yeah. Like, they should be... They should be deep faking themselves on the fucking porn actresses. Yeah. Like, I was saying we should start an agency. Think of how much money they would get from that first off on their 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 new Yeah. Uh system there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you got it's it out. Just hang up. It's just a waste of opportunity. Their system there. I'm saying think, we should uh, have a deep fake agency and tell these ladies, like, listen, you can be in porn, you don't got even gotta get fucked by anybody. We'll just put you on there. Just accidentally 
do some uh, like leaked pictures, and they're like, okay, I'll do it, and then do a top. It's gonna happen. Honestly, I'm saying that like not even as a joke. It's gonna happen. Let's it's gonna it. be. A- Let's fucking do it. Let's, Let's get, get some yeah. crack shots. Well, we just film some porn and we like paint the girls' faces green or make them wear masks or whatever. Let's and then- start from scratch and just make a fake woman like Simone, <laughs> and then have her like build a following. Yeah, we gotta have I'll a real Al Pacino. Do you ever watch uh, Macross Plus? Of course you didn't watch Macross Plus. Is that like a, one of your gay <laughs> cartoons? <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah. It's all about creating a virtual pop star. Let's make a Sharon Apple, Let's dick. do that, but I don't want to talk about anime while we're doing it the whole time. You got to like, talk about anime. Like, and then Macross, <laughs> M- Macross Plus, they did it. I'm like, I'm just trying to fucking make money. <laughs> Let's put her ghost in her shell, dick. She's the ghost in the shell. I can't do it. If we're gonna, the- I can't do it if we're going to talk about anime the whole time. Oh, we're going to insist. I'm going to have to make a virtual me to do this. <laughs> Now that's a movie. <laughs> what happened to Dick? Well, now a Dick's a robot. Oh fuck! And then I become a robot. And then it's like, who's who? Uh, some layers there. Okay, here's here's a good one. Oh God! It's outrageous that no one cares about Ethan Ralph's sex tape getting leaked. Who leaked it anyway? <laughs> okay, but you talk about the original. Se- there's still only one sex tape, right? Yeah, yeah. There's only one sex. How tape. come we're not talking about that revenge Cause, porn or whatever? Yeah, because all these women are upset about the uh, computers drawing them naked, right? But it's funny when it happens to Ralph. But they're all laughing at Ralph, right? So he's yeah. saying, "But who leaked the sex tape?" Because Ralph, it's Ralph, maybe. Leaked. But Ralph was drunk. Well, Ralph didn't leak it to the public. He leaked it to a guy, and then and that the guy, guy happened to be it. streaming at the time. But oh, okay, Ralph, <laughs> Ralph was drunk, so it's actually even worse. It's non-consensual. You're right. You can you can't consent. A woman he's can't. He's been sex trafficked. He's been Ralph has he been was sex, sex trafficked. trafficked by everyone on the internet, laughing at it. Ralph is not more okay. of a victim of sex trafficking than Eliza Blue. Flip it. <laughs> I mean, it's not wrong. Flip it. <laughs> Ralph Ethan Ralph is more of a victim <laughs> yeah. of sex trafficking I don't think than Eliza Blue. That. Oh my god. And Eliza needs to lose 40 pounds. She's not looking great. <laughs> At least Ralph's living his best life. She got a smile you on your face when I say re- that. You can't drunkenly <laughs> consent to releasing your sex tape. No one sh- Right? Is Ralph fundraising right now? Well, I don't know. Always, right? He's streaming. But I think he's fundraising to pay his lawyer so he can see his kid. Well, that's a good idea. To it- fundraising to pay your lawyer. That's a good idea. Yeah. They're expensive. I can't. I couldn't live Ralph's life. It's too much. It's too much. <laughs> just let the man have his wrestling promotion in peace, people. I know. Ralph, he just wants to have his Ralph mania. <laughs> These dads that are after him are so <laughs> bad. Well, you know that's the problem when you fuck a girl is that her dad all wants to be a part of it for some not reason. Al- not always. Apparently, in Ralph's world. I don't know. My dad, her dad, they don't want to be anywhere. All these they're dads. just thinking about themselves. The problem is, <laughs> no, honestly, the problem is boomer dads, mm. their their narcissism yeah. and their self-absorption is actually a huge benefit. These Gen X dads are giant attention whores. Yeah. Like, oh, Ralph's, uh, oh yeah, my dad, are, uh, how about a little bit, I- I'm over here. Guys, yeah. what do you think about me? Like, I, was see, I saw a, uh, it was a quote from Brett Easton Ellis, you know, the yeah. writer of American... Psycho and all that. Mm-hmm. They're saying my generation, and you know, like Gen X, like we didn't want attention. Like if people ha- if hated us, we were we were fine with it. You know. Yeah. He's like, I remember, like before my dad passed. You know, like the only thing he ever said about my book was like that horrible fucking book our son wrote or whatever. It's like <laughs> he's like that was great for me. Yeah. But then the the generation right after and all the generations you know subsequent to that are desperate for attention. Yeah. And validation. You're like, oh, this uh, famous guy is uh, having sex with my daughter. Maybe I could be famous and be on his live stream. And you're like, no, just stop. That guy, Ralph's here. father-in-law posted a graphic of, like, abusive relationships. And, like, step one was cause problems in the home. And I'm like, you, like, you destroyed, uh, you doxed, <laughs> you doxed them and destroyed all of Ralph's stuff. Yeah. Like, how do you, you are causing that ironically? You are doing that. <laughs> Whatever. I don't know how much people like Ralph talk on this show, but I just find it all endlessly. You're slowly drawing. I mean, they love you're it. slowly drawing me into the Ralph averse. You can't. It, he's the internet's first family. <laughs> <laughs> if you disagree with that, then you need to take a stark mm. reappraisal of your values. That's good and, guests. <laughs> okay, uh, perhaps one more. I don't. But you don't talk about horror. Uh, which well, Vito won me over is always a oh, great yeah, okay. one. There you go. There you is go. that an old one? I don't care if you no, play this or not. Honestly, I just want Vito to hear it. 
Vito. That's bro, the only way he would play over. Not only did you have one of my top vocalists on the show as a guest, Phil but Labonte. you're doing a collaboration with Toshio, who Toshio did the Maeda? cover work for an album by Necronomidal, who is my all-time favorite fucking wow. band on the planet. Look up their music video oh, for great, man. You're fucking, I love Andrea. music, too. You'll well, like it, Dick. You will probably praise. fucking hate it. Anyhow, you won me over, dude. I, I am a proud veto file. Beautiful. But I'm going to get the comic, too. Like, I, it's happening. I'm going to support the fuck out of you. It's Thanks. happening. Uh, thank you for everything. You fucking rock. Well, Toshio made it. what everybody else says. <laughs> fucking rock. Shut up. You don't got to remind him there <laughs> Toshio Maeda is like the godfather of tentacle porn. I had the La Blue Girl tapes as a kid. I knew all about that. And then, yeah. Uh, I went that the guy who did that octopus eating that chick out? That was like, in like the 1780s, but. Is that that guy? No, he's still alive oh, now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, at New York Comic Con, I came across his booth. He had a booth, and I was like, oh my skeet, God, skeet, skeet, the La Blue Girl guy is here. And I was yeah. literally there. I, I, I bought an original piece of artwork, and I've had it for 10 years. It's like a. Uh, prized possession of mine. Really? And then as I was doing Super Killer, I was like, I want to do like a like a hentai cover. And I'm like, I wonder if Toshio Maeda would do it. And I just reached out, and he's just an old Japanese guy. He's like, yeah, I'll fucking do it. And I'm like, well, how much do you want? I don't have that much money. He's like, yeah, fucking just, I don't know, whatever. I'm not whatever. even giving him that much money. Like, I think that's how much a, money are you giving him? I'm giving him like a thousand bucks, which is not a lot oh, for like a for a legendary. He's done like collaborations with Supreme. You know, the brand Supreme. Uh, it sells yeah. all those like yeah. I'm like I'm like, dude. I don't have Supreme money. I can throw like some money at you. I have Q-tip money. The only problem is that I was like, I want a schoolgirl getting railed by tentacles, and he's like, raped, and he's like, well, what about this? And I'm like, that looks like like an alien lizard. No, it's gonna be like a tentacle monster. Yeah, man. but you gave him notes. Yeah, man, because <laughs> I'm selling it to people. You know, I'm selling. I got the Why Godfather. I got the Godfather of tentacle porn, and then he yeah. draws a thing that doesn't have tentacles in it. I'm like, yeah, no, that's it's, dumb. It's got to have tentacles, man. You got to do the thing. He's like, well, I just thought it could be a little. I'm like, no, no, no. no. You're no, the tentacle no. guy. You got to do the tentacles. I'm sorry. I can't sell it otherwise. But uh, fi- when the fuck is this comic going to be out? Is the script done? <laughs> the script is done. Uh, I just got two new pages from my artist. Okay. And he read my notes wrong, and he drew all the characters' ears incorrectly, and that's fine. We're going to fix it. (laughs) Okay. My plan was to try and put up the Kickstarter by the end of the month. Okay. Uh, My plans have changed slightly because I told you, I don't know if I can put it on Indiegogo because they're, like, banning people, the unbearable silence of our tech overlords, where you put up a project, and they go, oh, uh, I don't know why your project is hidden from search you, and can't appear on the front you page. Got this tentacle rape I don't know guy. what happened. Well, that's the other thing. I sent him a message. I'm like, listen, I'm getting the tentacle rape guy. Is that a problem? Are you going to ban yeah, my campaign? It's a fucking but they problem. didn't even email me back. All you have to do is email what do you me think back. Somebody, and so you think some dumb chick at yes. her terminal is going to go, oh, yeah, I can make a decision that reflects upon <laughs> the entire organization? No, they just say nothing. I think I have to make it either, I could put it on Kickstarter, which I, I don't know. And then, then they take 5%. Or I could make my own uh, private crowdfunding site, which is going to be a little bit of a pain in the ass, but they have plugins for WordPress. Yeah. So I'm trying, I'm looking into trying to do that. I just set up a WordPress site. Okay. And I'm going to try and work on that over the next. Okay. Hopefully by the end of the month. And I can't so put now it out. We're, now we're waiting for the WordPress to get set up. It's not when the comic's coming out. Now it's, well, when's the fucking WordPress well, site Well, here, the comic out? is still getting worked on. It's just there's a lot of other stuff before I can, you know. Okay. And I'm wor- I'm getting plush toys made and a lunchbox and Pogs. And a lunchbox? Well, the Pogs. lunchbox, they want me to make 3,000 lunchboxes, and I can't do that. So I have to, uh, I will buy... It's all. It's a whole thing. The Chinese. Why don't you just make the comic? Jank and me, no, I need tchotchkes and little <laughs> toys. Like you don't. This is my life. Little little stupid tchotchkes and garbage is like uh, what I'm all about. Right, actually. Yeah, dude. I want. I want you buy. If you buy the Super Killer Deluxe Lunchbox, it's gonna have pogs and trading cards and like a little book, like a little art book. Will it have uh, some razor blades for you to kill yourself? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, okay. and some Q-tips. I'll put a Q-tip in there. Uh, fuck you guys. Look. <laughs> But but regardless, even though you know everything, it is the comic is get, still getting worked on as well. Like okay. the artist is. What percentage on it. done is it? Um, in terms of inked pages, no. In terms of the whole thing, ten percent. More, more than half. More okay. Than half. All right. All right. Yeah. This is like a September release. 
Maybe. I was hoping for 9 11. I was hoping for summer. Let's put it summer that way. Summer release? I was hoping. Summer's going to sneak up on you. It is sneaking up on me. All right. Everything moves a lot quicker than you think. Yeah, that's true. Because I want to do it right. I'm no, also. I get it. And I also think I'm going to do color. I wasn't I thought you were going to say I'm going to do cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I should be doing cocaine. Down at your size. Originally, I was going to do a black and white, but I think I'm going to get a pig. Those to do toasters color. that you posted were cool. Of the color. That guy's the greatest. Co- Here's the thing. I didn't want to do color, but my buddy is legitimately like the greatest colorist of all yeah. time. And he said, I would color your comic. And he's like the only guy who I would trust to color. And I'm like, shit, he's expensive. He's like actually worked for DC Comics and shit. But I'm like, uh, you know what? It's just like, it would just look so good that I kind of want him to do it. Yeah, that's cool. I thought I was like, wow. That was Dude, he's, cool. he's uh, again, he, he was working for DC Comics and then we got canceled. You know, oh, he these did? fucking guys. Yeah, of course. God damn. Everybody does. Uh, okay. Here's well, super let's chats. look at some super chats. Don't forget again to vote on the problems. The biggest problem that show. And check out the bonus episode. Yeah. Patreon.com Great slash biggest episode. problem. We're on back by two. Back by biggest back problem. Back by slash biggest problem. We got a lot of people on back by. Yeah, it's cool. I'm trying to get somebody, somebody uh, new creator to sign up. You know what we need people to do? Bother uh, a streamer about what's the biggest problem this week. Yeah. Like uh, who's a name? Is, who's a streamer that they could go bother? I don't watch any of these people. I mean, Hassan. Uh, Hassan. Nah, he gets like flood. You know what? Fucking bother Hassan. Whatever. I bother Hassan. Ask, ask him. Hassan, ask what do you Hassan think is the Pike biggest or... problem in the universe right yeah, now? Yeah, pelophobia uh, and all the you other You want ones. him to quiz him on the existing ones or have him give us a new problem? No, give us pick of these. Okay, that's what's the worse, bed. going bald or, yes, or satanic panic? Or satanic panic. Then people like, that's the way, that's how you talk to women. Right, like what's like what's your favorite dinosaur? Right? Yeah, women always have. An you don't say for like, that. well, what do you like? Because they're like, I don't know. About like, what my favorite dinosaur? You gotta like, you gotta frame it. Okay. I was I gonna say something, but I didn't. Oh, I backed don't. by. Yeah. Everybody, keep, I keep going. Where should I crowd from my comic? And everyone goes back by, and I go, well, I can't. We're working on because it doesn't have a crowd fund. Well, how long is that gonna take? It'll be out before your comic. Well. I don't know. I would run the campaign on back by, but you talk about it we'll later. Talk about it. All right. Well, guys, we're gonna read your super chats. Is that that that's last? Of, oh, there we go. No. Riley Edwards for five. Vito's cat goes missing around the same time his balls started to hurt. <laughs> Coincidence, I think. <laughs> All right, I, I get I get what you're doing there. I get it. Uh, shut up. It's the way you phrased it. <laughs> All right. I do not have blue balls you motherfucker coup for two thank you for not killing yourselves of course thank yeah, you you're welcome stan young for 4.99 looks like trad conservative pundits are the biggest problem in the universe i really hate them they're pretty bad this the uh the the star wars to libertarian pipeline mm. is like just decimating young men the libertarians are weirdos these days. I don't even know what they want. It's just they they just want to distract people and get attention. Yeah. Like their their platform and their party's fucking retarded. Yeah. And they sit around and just like pontificate on Well, well you know what? what? Yeah, it's all this like, well, if the libertarians were in charge, I'm like, what? W- what would happen? Yeah, what would you guys do? Well, you know, your kids would be working in the coal mines. Oh, okay, great. We well, wouldn't have they, all this, these pesky air traffic controllers. The age of consent. <laughs> it's, it's, it's fucking astrology for consent. men, dude. It's always the age of consent. Uh, Brisman, <laughs> if you had to leave the U.S., which country would you live in? Um, um, see, I would. I, I don't think I could live in Japan. I, I, for a while, when I was younger, I always wanted to like live in Japan. Because the women are easier to... I just love it. their culture, but oh, I don't yeah. think I would actually flourish there. Yeah. Uh, you hear about like these, uh, what, like the Netherlands and shit, where everything's mm. great, and you look into it and you go, "Oh, it's just white people here, huh? What's that all about?" Not anymore. Tur- turns out, socially homogenous societies are very uh, better. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a lot less fighting when everybody's on the same fucking page, you know. What about the food, though? It's true. The food's not as good. They don't have chitlins and tacos <laughs> and stuff. So yeah. I, ha- what, you call I hate that living. I hate to say it, but I might go to one of these white people countries and just go, you know what? It's just easier. Whatever. The- I love everybody of all the different cultures, but y'all keep fighting. El Salvador, whatever the tax haven is. Yeah. Well, Panama, that's true. I'll go live there. That's true. Wherever I'm I can't Mexican, get- though, I can just slide right in. No extradition treaties. Where'd, uh, where'd Bakeman Freed go? 
Uh, to jail. Yeah, but where was he before? Wasn't somebody? <laughs> Bahamas. Bahamas. That's where to go. Righty, tidy for two. Great show. Glad we all didn't kill ourselves yet. I agree. Lane Steele for two. Vote up virginity stigma. Mm. Mm. Yep. David Hodes starts off the show with Whoa. a big 50. I saw that. 99 I saw that. Cu- don't quibble <laughs> over it. <Whoa. laughs> all right. Forty nine ninety nine. <laughs> Says, why can't I make it an even 50? This is some nonsense. Thanks for the driving fodder, nerds. Keep it up and keep getting better as usual. Hey, thanks. I think we looked into this. I think if you're on an iPhone or if you're on an Android, it changes between what you're allowed to pay Hmm. uh, for in-app purchases. I think Apple defaults to $0.99 for everything. So you could go $51.99 and it's... Then it's definitely 50. Yeah. Why not donate 51? We're not going to quibble over that. Thank you for the 50, David. Shut the fuck up. We're going to buy Vito a nice, <laughs> nice toupee. toupee. Nice way. I want to be a big blonde. I'm serious. Mullet. I'm not going to let that go. I'm into it. Let's do it. And we also have to have someone shit in my mouth for $10,000 or whatever the fuck I'm it is. I'm not into that one. Okay. Lol, no for two. Daddy Biden, when I said gas Ohio, I was joking. I missed, I missed the news. There was something in Ohio today, some sort of gas... Uh, some sort of gas explosion. I don't think it was related to the oven ban. Oh. Uh, well, anyway, here's Wonderwall <laughs> for one ninety nine. Uh-huh. Be fair to Vito, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Your cheapness got you, you fucked, got Wonderwall. Fucked. You donated a buck ninety nine. One ninety nine. Be fair to Vito, guys. It isn't totally his fault. Nice try, idiot. Good Coop try. For five. Thank you both for fixing the stream and not killing yourselves. Thank you, audience members, for not killing yourselves. Thank you, Coop. thank you, Coof. Pale Pen fifteen for one ninety nine. Where is the Jordan diss track? Who, what which is Jordan? That? I have no Jordan idea. What Peterson. Talking. Oh, that's true. We need to do that at some point. A diss track? I don't know about the diss track. I don't really. I remember we, were, we need to cut out his face at some point. Oh uh, yeah, that's gonna happen. He's just so fucking weird. He's very weird. I don't, I don't, I don't, should I, I feel like I should watch like one of his shows to like try to figure out what it is, but he just goes, ah, the thing about uh, trans people is, uh, uh, and then he takes some pills. You know, and- I will not, I will not <laughs> succumb. If you think that, hey, bucko, if you think succumb. that who will be censoring, oh, I'll you say, censor you. Dude, uh, bro. Why don't you fucking uncross your legs, dude? How about that? How about you? How about you give a talk where you're fucking man spreading a little bit? You look like a ninety year old man, like woman. Oh hi! How do you like my tweet suit? He's a, I love he's a Elon weird Musk. Looking guy, I don't want that guy to be my there dad. There are Machiavellian enormous dementors. All oh, well, I gotta do the fucking face cut out. <laughs> dementors. Uh, all I'm- these dementors are harrying my Potter. <laughs> all these anonymous Machiavellian Genghis Khan. A lot of people just want like their weird old uncle to yell at them, I guess. Oh, and lecture them about the Marxists. Did you wash your benzos, Buckaroo? <laughs> <laughs> I bet if he put out a hey. Jordan Peterson tucks you into bed tape, it would do very well. Oh, you're, you go, you think you're going, going to, to sleep, sleep huh? guy? I hope you're not identifying as a trans individual <laughs> while you're going to sleep. They're, you know, trans children. What was that stupid thing you said about Elliot Page? I don't even remember. I refuse to call her Elliot Page, eh? That's like calling me Jordan Sneepy P. Peterson. All right, Jordan, stop Jordan it. G. Peterson. Claptrap to the Destroyer for five. Is Vito going to do a Mr. Beast diss track? I should. That would piss everybody off. Talk about how I'm going to blind him. (laughs) Yeah, that was funny when you you guys were saying that. You're so pissed off. (laughs) I'm not that pissed off. I'm not even pissed off. Me either. Riley Edwards for two. Nice hat, Vito. You're more mad (laughs) than I am. We're the same. You're the most mad mad about Mr. Beast. I'm not mad at all. I'm not mad at all. No, (laughs) I'm not even slightly mad. Nice hat, Vito. Looks gay rate. Thank you. Chubs for 10. Yo, Vito. Shut up. Yo, Vito and Big D, I scored myself a girlfriend. I think this chat censors the J word. So, yes, she's from the tribe and has her own Vila. All the negative Nancys in chat can shove it. You have a Jewish girlfriend. Big hits probably. Nice. 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 Darius Reinkovitz for five. Black people keep telling me that the N word is the R word. Very confusing. Hmm. I'm also confused by that. What Should- R word? Re- Which retid? Retad? Is there a worse N word that that starts with R that I don't know about? Oh God! If there's if new slurs are dropping, I need to know. Chubs for three. If, if YouTube censors the J word, what the hell, man? Like just Jew or Jewish or? Try it again. Do another. Yeah, super keep chat trying with, it. Say try to say Jewish. John riffs for that ten. Be censored. And shouldn't be. <laughs> 
<laughs> John Rester 10. Wow. Can you believe Maddox is making such great content these days? Proud to be his manager. Oh, Wink. oh yeah. Is he making anything now that banana Dox is gone? What did he no, say? He, did he uh, say he's got a plan for what he's going to do. He kind of is making content. Can somebody, uh, somebody in the chat, if somebody could link me. Let me see if I can pull this up. John riffs, YouTube. Uh, no. No, go up to the top. It's probably auto correcting it. Oh, is it? Yes. Yeah, search instead for John Riff. John Riff's YouTube. I uh, I don't Hi, know. What to I do am Maddox, without... and this is the oh, best debate okay. in the universe. Yeah, Today's I'm... topic: science. Obviously, there is no downside to science. So I'm going to wax poetry for a bit. Science is the study for how the world works. Imagine the world, wow, the so whole universe, back. as a Lego set. <laughs> but the manual is not written in English. It is written in a bunch of made-up Chinese bullshit. A scientist's job is to decipher the manual for that Lego set so normal people can understand it, so we can put the pieces together while our wife gets fucked by her boyfriend. (laughs) (laughs) He doesn't use contractions. That's weird. Maybe that's like a COVID thing. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Although they tried feeding me into the AI deepfake thing, and I was like, I didn't didn't think it sounded like me, but I might just know my own voice too well. Well, you know, it's funny that you bring that up. Oh, God damn it. I have. I think I have some of those clips that you're talking about. It doesn't sound like me. Because you know what? As somebody said, they're like, there's not enough vocal fry. And I was like, exactly. It's oh, not really? Those Let's low see. Tones. This is your AI. I, I bet it's fucked up because you're not saying veto things. Here's one. Listen to this. It's a picture of a cat looking up. Like this little cat I'm showing this picture of. I'll post it on the website. It's a- now you say that. Now look at this. There's a picture of a little cat. I'll post it on the website. As all cats are libertarians, completely dependent on others. But see, it's because it's saying Maddox lines. I think if it was saying, it's stuff all, it you sounds said. more high pitched than me. I think okay, they pick. No, macho. I think they pick. I have two different like. I have like two different tones I'll use when I get like animated and excited. I go, Dick. The thing is, blah blah blah. And I'm like yeah. up here, but most of the time I'm like, Hey, Dick, what's going on? Yeah, yeah. Man, I fuck girls and have, you know, <laughs> drink beers and shit. <laughs> You know? <laughs> Normally I'm down here. Okay, well, whatever. Anyway, I'm Good glad try, that John AI Riffs. Maddox is helping uh, replace the. Uh, you should have just done a whole show with AI Maddox. That would have been good. That wouldn't have been good. Missed opportunity. Okay. Sword and Scale is here for What's twenty. Up, is this a messed up alternate reality? It should have never been unlocked. Nah. You know what's weird when you're watching like a stream and it's only like fifteen people in there, and then like someone like Sword and Scale like types in the chat, and you're like, "Whoa, Sword and Scale's watching this right now." Yeah. There's this guy, nobody likes onions or something, and all he does is like rip on stand up comedians. And for some reason, Josh Tenney's butt. Well, I think he hates Josh Tenney now. Oh, he does? (laughs) I think I only found out about him because of Josh Denny. Well, because we're friends with Josh. Then they, they yeah. come out and they're like, I want to fucking break up your friendship. Being friends with Josh leads to like a lot of weird like tribalism and like with this red bar radio and whatever else. And <laughs> yeah. or, like people are like, you know, oh, you're friends with Carl. That must mean you're with Kumia <laughs> and Chrissy yeah. Marin. I'm like, I don't know, man. I've been on his podcast. I saw Kumia post on Twitter last night. I hate MFN and, and then he did like and if you know what I'm talking about I'm like uh I wish I didn't I wish I didn't decipher that wait so MFN quickly. like mother yeah <laughs> like ah wow uh, that's yeah. pretty dark <laughs> what kind of wine oh, post thing Christ. are you doing over there <laughs> oh, regardless sword and scale <laughs> always good to see you I hope everything's going well yes yes it's great to see you yeah. Thank Isaac you. the ox for five Sorry, I put the rhyme in the wrong order. Yeah, you got to put the funny line second. Yeah. I hope bladder Vito's bladder feels better. I doubt it, though. Try drinking peroxide through your urethra. Have you tried that? No. Maybe you should give it a shot. Well, Mitchell Cruz. Get like a Capri Sun straw. I don't think that's going to go to the doctor. <laughs> Although I got to figure a lie about it. What brings you in here? Nothing with my dick. They're supposed to call me for when I go get a cat scan or something. They haven't called me yet. Mitchell Krenzinski for two or that's one night. What you call Friday night? Yeah. Cat scan. Cat scan. Mitchell wants to know if you can become a I member of Vito's I Kitty Cat Club. Send me a message later. I'll, I'll add you to the list. Cougar Hughes for 20. Best stinger yet. I don't know. I feel like I kind of phoned that one in, but I was, sure, I was scrambling. It's too slow. Yeah. I was scrambling to she get ready for the up. show. I tried to do the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles theme, but. Oh, that would have been good. Well, I've got a, I've got a rough draft of that. Let's put okay. it that way. Eric Wong for five. How long till Vito's Catboy Club and Nick Fuentes Catboy Streams and Keffel's Catboy Ranch all join uh, forces? Fucking never, never, not at all. I wish Keffel's would come on. We could get her. 
my uh, ass. That's what you cut you me off. You want her to come on her, your ass <laughs> with her big trans penis. No, she got that shit cut off. Did she? Yeah. It's like uh, her whole part of her, like, uh, uh, superhero story. I knew I, uh, there was this trans person who hates me now. She sent me one of those long lost lectures or whatever, but occasionally yeah. I check in because she still posts shit about me. Yeah. She's just going on and on about how she cut off her balls and she's so happy about it. And she's like posting pictures of like where her balls used to be. And I'm like, this is good for g- Congrats, I guess. I don't know. You I know, don't the, understand. The guys it. can't even cut their dicks off without some bitch giving them <laughs> shit for it. You ever heard that? <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah. Pop quiz for 999. Great show. I agree. Claptrap for five. Dick, you should have considered doing a reimagined Maddox Lost song with Vito. That would have been sick. Fucking missed opportunity. See? See? Oh, you fucked it up. Bizzaker. Oh, oh. You see what I mean? I could have easily you done, done Vito Lost. Vito Lost. Vito. I probably got the original did fucking. You bring, <laughs> when did you first bring in that song? What episode? I don't remember. What way happened? before 77. Yeah, way before that song probably caused the breakup of that show. It is crazy that we are closing in on 100 episodes. It's like, it feels like it's been no time at all. I, I know. <laughs> Every episode of that show felt like a <laughs> fucking like 10 years. Exhaustion. <laughs> <laughs> Clap trap for, uh, no, Bizcower. Power for five. Is Dick yeah. still a contrarian about Lex Friedman's reading list? If anyone is making their own book list, one of the, no, 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 you almost got me. <laughs> <laughs> you almost got me. You almost got me. Uh, if you'd have said Vito being a contrarian, you would have got you. He says one of the books yeah. has to be yeah. a certain book called Fahrenheit 451. Yeah, good that was, try. That was a good try. Good try. Mike Hunt for five. I just realized that the water Mexicans in Black Panther 2 was a subtle way of saying that the backs of Mexicans are wet. I made that joke last episode. <laughs> And uh, you're just stealing it doesn't it from work me. when you d- yeah. say the last The original wetbacks, I said already. Yeah. Ride dog for five, bald. That's mm-hmm. true. Clap trap for two. Vito, get a mullet toupee. I want one. Yeah. Kara Fro with $5 going towards the toupee fund. Absolutely. Oh, yeah, okay. Rex Saxon for two. Balding isn't a choice, but being bald is. Yeah. George Patolmi for five. Wow, Vito, you look like Dr. Robotnik. Which means slave? I don't know. Robotnik that. mean it's Greek for slave. Is it really? Oh, so you can't call them robots. That's so weird. That's offensive to uh, a robot black people is, for some reason. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Mike Hunt for five is not about baldness. It's about good looks too. All those action stars you listen to are good looking, not just bald, like Patrick Stewart and Stephen Ogg. Gay. Yeah. Northman for five. Can't imagine Vito in a toupee. Fairly sure he would end up losing it like he lost his cat. Jesus Christ, guys. Ride Dog for five. Get Harry's Razors as a sponsor so Vito can shave his head. Yeah. I do shave my head, just not close enough because it's a pain in the ass. You got to get it razor. Man. I know, I will. Rex Sexton for five. If you shave me on stage, I will donate my hair for Vito's toupee in Philly. No. It's past <laughs> my shoulders right now. No, thank you. DJK367 for 10 Australian dollars. Dick, when are you going on PKA to shill back? By v- bring Vito along to a Wings cosplay. Oh, yeah. You should go on that show with me or. Or when I, or well, I'm something. yeah. People keep uh, tell keep bothering Taylor, who said he had to unfollow me on Twitter because I was too obnoxious. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm definitely getting on the show soon. What? What are you obnoxious on Twitter about? I don't know. All sorts. Of, well, we have a whole song about how obnoxious I am. Not on now because the deck is broken, it's, so you can yeah, be as obnoxious can. as you want. Tell Taylor to refollow my new account at Vito Comedy. Clap trap the destroyer for five. These nerds need to listen to black metal. Okay. Yes, the uh, the Christians do. The thinking cat for five. Maybe Vito, Don, shave the head, save the beard, and have Brian Stelter energy or shave it all. Okay, fuck you. Slim Williams, <laughs> this is, you got to learn basic grammar if you're going to leave a super They're chat. They're doing that to save money. They yeah, don't put in uh, punctuation no. so they can cram it all in. Put some periods and if you, if you got a Spring long one, the periods spend $10 the and commas. add some commas. Slim Willis, 96 for five. Here's $5 for cybersecurity. Get something niggle proof so you don't... Don't lag again. Okay. Then the niggler might have done that. Not Mark for five. Dick, you're right about the satanic panic. Good problem. Smooches yeah. for you. Absolutely. Claptrap for five. Adult Christians are some of the worst people imaginable. <laughs> They're pretty bad. Troll yeah. S. Preston for five. Steve Kerr, former NBA champion and current head coach of the Golden State Warriors, named his son Nick based. Nick Kerr. Oh, Kerr. Nick Seems Kerr. Nick Kerr. That's yeah. pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, that wow. sounds really bad. Did you know that? I don't know. Nicholas huh, Kerr. Cool. Umpty Madu for five. The problem with the finers. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Wasn't that here they were we Satanists? Go. The problem was the CIA paid a bunch of people to struggle, snuggle, and the unalive children. Okay, so the CIA funded the finders. I mean, sure. that's probably true. 
Mike Hunt for five says there's two versions of Macross Plus. One has more boobs. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I think they split it up into OVAs. CG for five, Eliza Blue. Causing the Great Timpocalypse is great. I'm actually a fan of hers now. She's a Trojan, Trojan whore. whore. Well, um, she's taking well, down the Tim Pool apparatus from the inside. Well, that was, uh, yeah, Helen was from uh, Troy. No, they sacked Troy to get her back. She was from, wasn't she? Or was well, she? Her name was Helen of Troy. Was she not originally from Troy? Was Tr wasn't Troy the city where she was being in, in prison, held by Paris? And then Achilles and Odysseus and Agamemnon built the horse. Right. And then the warriors Troy showed up on the Rainbow Bridge. Yeah. And they used Mjolnir to, who gives a shit? Who fucking cares? Sorry. <laughs> the only history I know about is MLK and Gandhi, because that's all that matters. Nothing else. Nothing uh, else. She's a Trojan whore. It's funnier she's that. A Trojan and whore. Scroll down a little bit. Keep going. Uh, yeah, there we go. Clap trap for two. Stock tip veto. I don't have it because the thing's broken. Should have bought hymns. Did I tell you to buy hymns? You did, yeah. I did. Did you buy yeah. any? No. It's fucking killing it. Yeah. Mike Hunt for two. Will your comic come out faster than Love Whales? Uh, is that is that a reference? Fuck to whales, Maddox Maddox's is five book. Years to write is to work. It, it will terrible. come out quicker than that. We already got we already got pages inked. Joe Rayford too. Vito, please make a Q-tip edition of the lunch. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Uh, Mint Salad is here. It's the Super Killer of the Moon. Mint Salad has bought all three colors of the Super Killer T-shirt now available oh, cool. at Killdozer.industries, and her and Riley wear it while smoking meth or whatever the <laughs> fuck they're doing. I'm uh, sure it's not meth. I don't know. I just see them in those videos, and I'm like, well, those kids are up to something. <laughs> Jay Thompson. Fun. yeah, it's great. Yeah, well, meth is fun. Jay Thompson for five. Big we're fan. A, better, a more wholesome fun. <laughs> Nothing more wholesome <laughs> than sharing a meth pipe with the woman you're sex trafficking. <laughs> Uh, Kara Pro <laughs> for 10. Another solid show. Thank you, Kara, the number one moderator. Pete Oxenham for 199. Watching video is motivating me at the gym. Fuck you. <laughs> Wet Bandit for five. Dick, I've been having a bad day. Can you please give Vito a purple nurple? It would really yeah, help. Yeah, that's he, sex trafficking. Yeah, that's sex trafficking. Devin BT for 10. Did you see my rendering, Vito? Your rendering of what? Oh, he's the one that did the thumbnail for the bonus oh, episode. Oh, we'll take a look at the bonus episode Yeah, thumbnail. don't you think it's cool? I don't know if cool is the... Is it's a, he put his... Okay, uh, hold on. He I don't this <laughs> for free. This oh, is great. the biggest problem dot show. I don't, don't think, think this cool? communicates the episode very well. <laughs> Okay, because you said you're always a fucking you're always criticizing and naysaying. You said you're like, oh, this guy sent us this great thumbnail, and I took a look. I'm like, what the fuck? It's just me, and I'm a huge tub of shit, and I have a hat that says Lolly on it. Uh, yeah, it's funny. And then you said, no, don't you get it? You're being held up by a bunch of black guys. I think they are. And I'm like, how do you get black? I thought I was being held up by a bunch of like frogs or well, some because shit. Because you knew, I just assumed. Because the bonus episodes Black History Month, I assume those were like we're not Star using this thumbnail. We're not it's already up. It's well, already I, been I, used. On YouTube, we're going to use a different <laughs> thumbnail. This, I have no power what over. What does YouTube? this have to do with Black History? This is ridiculous. Well, because you know it's like a metaphor. This is terrible. <laughs> this is a terrible thumbnail. This has nothing to do with what we're talking about. This is the thumbnail for the Black History episode? There's not... Yeah, How are good. those black people? What are you talking about? Because they have, like, they're bald, and they, they're little, they got little skinny arms, like that, like, Ethiopian ads. <laughs> yeah, like, okay. So they're, like, little... I'm being held up by little Ethiopian children. <laughs> yeah. This is not a good thumbnail. <laughs> look at that. Look at the look on that one's face. Why did, <laughs> what are you all mad about yelling at me and wearing Crocs, apparently? It's cool Crocs. Yeah, you get to look cool. Huh. All right, great. Yeah, great work, buddy. How fat I look. Really knocked it out of the park. <laughs> yeah, he's one of our new thumbnail no, no. artists. No, no. He's one of the test thumbnail artists. <laughs> he passed. We will, uh, <laughs> yeah. All right. Good shit. Stop it. Dick's literally choking to death on that. <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> What's bad about that? That was such a shitty thumbnail. <laughs> what? Yeah, whatever. It's great. It's great. It's beautiful. I don't care. <laughs> It's great. It has nothing to do with the theme of the episode. What are you even talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Scroll down a little bit. Uh, so okay. All right, Seven. Thank here. you for the thumbnail. Uh, David Dobbison for five. Up. 
Oh, no. Uh, for two. Vito is too fat for Japan. That's why he won't go. Don't laugh at that. <laughs> Clap trap for two. Because well, he made like a little A yeah, made a little symbol. Thump. He couldn't type fat. I, he had I don't to find why. an A on the emoji keyboard to put it Clap in there. Clap trap for two says you should have done the Tim Pool rant. Which rant is that exactly? Like, do the Tim Pool cutout face? We'll or talk do about more Tim cutouts. Pool. So, look, we're I just hate Tim Pool. Like, I hate. I don't want to play into his whole, yeah. like, I'm, it's cute making fun of you because uh, it really, that whole uh, that whole industry of um, shilling sickens me. I fucking hate him. At least he's making music. Beautiful music. Yeah, yeah. Drunken Atheist Studio. He's probably, the, he, he's a musician who really communicates who he is through his music perfectly. Yeah. Usually musicians, like, you know, they try for it, but he's just executed exactly, he shows you exactly who he is through his music. It's amazing. Well, well, Drunken Atheist Studio for Two says, I think he's referring to the AI of me. It sounds like when you're reading script. I still disagree, but I guess I just know my own audio, you know, yeah. weirdness. So if it sounds like me to you guys, congratulations. To me, it sounds like some weirdo. Me, 04120. And I listen to myself talk, but, you know, I watch my own videos. I know what I sound like. See, you got to go, you got to go up. You got to go, you know, the thing about me is sometimes I listen to my own videos. It's a constant changing of, it's a dynamic range. Don't work on it. It's a dynamic range. Don't real critical of all these fucking artists working on stuff. Me 420 for five. JK Rowling is overrated. Selling garbage books to kids. Come on. Like Vito who want to be (laughs) a bunch of fairies and wizards grow up. Okay. Justin Martinez. Good try. Justin Martinez for 10. When will Sword and Scale be on with Handsome Vito and Dick the Ugly? Come on oh. in. Yeah, come we're, on. I don't anytime. know where Sword and Scale is based. <clears throat> We've been trying to limit guests to being in studio. Uh, when we do guests who are remote, sometimes it works. Sometimes it's a crapshoot. Yeah, it's uh, easier when they're here. And also, we, we like all to right. do shows without guests as well, as we've done here tonight. So we alternate. We do what we can. Is this it? Yeah, that's the new one. Put it on up. There you go. Guys, one more time. Where can you vote on the problems? Biggest problem dot show. Where can you listen to the biggest problem in Black History Month at patreon.com slash biggest problem. Thanks to all our top supporters on the Patreon. There's currently 50 dickhead pluses and only 38 veto file pluses. Got to bump those numbers up. I need bump double. those I need numbers. Double veto. I want double th- than veto files. Also, thank everybody who is subscribed at back dot by. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Do we have the plus tiers over there? Yeah, I got everything. Oh, you're going to have to send me those names so I can add them to the thing. Okay. That's a whole nother. Oh, you could log in with your email over there. Uh, back by? I have access to the back end? Just log in with the, the biggest problem, uh, Gmail. I'll figure it out. Okay. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. Thank you. Come watch my uh, stupid Hogwarts streams on YouTube.com slash Vito2. <laughs> Playing as like Vito, a weird T-W-L. sissy boy. Come watch me as a weird sissy Hogwarts kid. A real Mary Nancy a fanciful Nancy scarf boy. running around and solving mysteries on Vito2. Goodbye.